Welcome to Kenya, a beautiful East African country that you have to add to your bucket list. Today we're diving deep into Mombasa, the street food capital of Kenya. We're going to be eating shawarma, mishkak, and even arrowroot. We're also going to be diving deep into the market town of Nakuru and we're going to be eating lots of street food. Let's go to Kenya. Habibi, welcome to Mombasa. And over here, this gentleman, he's dicing up some chips, throwing it straight into the oil. And we'll try it. Here, let me show you. This is cassava right here. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Cassava chips. So what are we going to eat? What do you want to eat? We're going to start with the cassava. Mm -hmm. And then we will do the potato chips. But we need to see how that guy makes all those things. He has a machine that he does it. Mm -hmm. He's perfect on it. So you can show you how he does it. Very, very good. Oh, I love these. So good. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, not too oily. Mm, cassava, way better than potato. Yeah, very good. It's cassava. Good. It's good stuff, man. This is good stuff. Really, really good. All right, guys, so let me try the spice. Here's some spice right here. You're saying it's a lot, right? Yeah, that's chili. Chili? Cayenne chili. Cayenne. Yeah. Mm hmm? Mm, well, it's good. Have some more right there. Nice powder. Mm. Oh, it's good. Amazing. I love it. I love it. This is so good. These are the best, man. I like it straight out of the fryer. So tasty. Not even oily. Trying. I could be a street food vendor. Hi. Thank you. He brings the cassava, gets the grater, grates it there, and throws it right over here. It sits, then he sells it in bags. If you want spice, he adds spice. If not, he just adds some salt, and that's it, right? Salt Bay of Kenya. <laughs> oh, look, 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 he melts it. That's he melted the plastic. Yeah. Asante, asante, asante. Hey, thank you so much. Asante, asante. What's next, Sam? Yeah. Madafu. Yes. What's Madafu? You've been really, really struggling with the chili, so let's do something to cool you down. So Madafu is coconut? Is this coconut? A Madafu is a young coconut. A young coconut. Yeah, yeah right there. Oh, that's the best. You clean the urinal system. Wow. He's finishing it? Oh, this is the best. This is the best. Tender coconut. Tender coconut. There's a lot of water in there, man. Done. <laughs> that was so good. That's the best. So right there, he's... I make a spoon. Uh-huh. So he's making a spoon from coconut, and he's going to open the coconut so we can have yeah. the flesh. The jelly, right? I cut the flesh and then you eat. Oh, you're cutting it like that, huh? It's amazing. Nothing like the tender coconut. Everywhere you go in the world, man. Caribbean, Miami, South America, India, Africa. Okay. Doesn't stop. Yeah. Well, it's the best. It's the best. It is the best. It's just like balls. Oh, yes. You know what they call this? Nectar of the gods. Mmm. A young coconut. Young, yes. sweet, mm, so filling. Incredible. This is the heart of the coconut tree. The heart of coconut, so that, like the coconut if palm. You cut, if yes. you cut the tree, the mm -hmm. palm, mm -hmm. and then you get this one. Amazing. You know what I love about the palm tree? You can eat everything, right? Even worms. Palm hearts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Palm hearts. Brazil, they eat this everywhere. Oh. A little more. Mm hmm. The heart of palm is so delicious and super, super crunchy. You take a nice piece. You, you a big right, one. Just touch your teeth. See how good it is. Look, guys, this is what he gave me. A big one. So you remove this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move that and just get in here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, you taste the coconut. Mm hmm. Palm tree is the best. Yes. Best thing on planet Earth, right here. It's hard to palm. All this one is not a man made, as an original. It's a, mm -hmm. as a tree. All right, Sam, let's go. So now we're going to have uh, roasted maize and roasted sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh. It's mm -hmm. hot. It's super hot. Mm -hmm. Let's try. Oh, but it falls apart. So soft. Mm hmm. Mm. 
You know, it's amazing. It reminds me of the consistency of breadfruit. Had a breadfruit in the Caribbean, Barbados, Trinidad, Guyana. It's sugary. Mm -hmm. Really tasty. Super sugary. sugary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can feel the taste of the sugar. No. Natural sugar. Oh, some chili, yeah. Yeah, there's chili. Right out here. I'm going to get a little bit here. So we have nice chili. Nice and spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Way better. Mm -hmm. mm. Huh? The contrast, sweet, spicy, and super wow. soft. It's so meaty. I can feel the chili. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, it's hot. Oh, wow. So we try with some lemon. So, hook the lemon like this. So, it's your time to test it with lemon. Let's see how good it is. So hot. Mm -hmm. Very, very hot. Mm -hmm. I can still feel it in my mouth. Oh, but I think it's way better with the, with the lemon, right? With lemon and a little bit of chili. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. This mm -hmm. is super, super good. Roasted sweet potato is really, really good. You know, I love everything we had. Super healthy. Of course, the crisp, not so healthy because of the oil, but everything else, awesome. It's awesome. If you guys don't know what this is, in Spanish, it's called yuca, cassava. It's a root vegetable. It's amazing, almost like a yam. So this is what these guys are making from the cassava crisp that we already saw. So we do C and C. We have a whole bunch of them in a in a sack so they keep on taking one by one and these are the pills so they have to remove all the spills from the cassava to make the cassava crisps so we're gonna have a taste of uh, the white corn uh, roasted white corn and uh, they normally had some of this this is uh, lemon. lemon and then they put a little bit of chili like this you see how it is and then you apply like this so they give it a, a different, totally a different taste. Let me have more of that chili. Like that. Yeah, so you will see how it's done. Right, and then you'll be good already to have a taste of this. So let's see. Three to go. Wow. Mm, a little bit of uh, chili. And also we'll have, uh, you can feel the, the lemon. And then go in and bite. Right? Mmm. I've never had it with spice like this. Oh, so roasted. I love corn. It has no healthy properties, but it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Put some more in there. I'm gonna fill up on corn. I'm gonna like squirrel. Next up is we're going to test the local uh, tea, how they make the tea, and also the local snacks. Right. Mandazi, Mahamri, talk about all Swahili local snacks. So let's do it. All right, after a 10 minute drive, we're here in the old town. I can smell the kebabs and the shawarma. Shawarma, good? Yeah, My yeah. man, how you doing? So you do the shawarma? Yeah, I do the barbecue. That's amazing. Yeah. He does the barbecue, right? So here we have chicken shawarma. Yeah, this is chicken barbecue. And then over here we have uh, beef. Beef mishkak. Uh, chicken tikka. Chicken tikka. Right? So over here he has the chicken uh, shawarma and then they put it into these nice little rolls. Can I have one? Yeah, yeah, you can have one. Don't, Don't worry, I'll be paying for it. it. Alright, I'm gonna try this guys. Here we go. Uh, uh, this is what I need guys. Nice cabbage salad. Get the mayonnaise in there. Mmm. The favorite chicken with this nice marinade. Nice man. So good. So juicy. So juicy right here. Oh. My man, you made my day right now. No. The more you take, the more sweeter it, the sweeter it becomes, you see? I need to try the mishkak, it's okay? So if you guys don't know mishkak, that is like basically a kebab, right? In uh, Oman, they call it mishkak as well, but there they put tamarind sauce on top. But here they put just a nice little marinade. I'll tell you, I'm so happy to be Mombasa, man. We made it to Mombasa. After a crazy day, we made it. Perfect, perfect. Wow, look at that, more kebabs, it doesn't stop. Yet that you the chicken you down, tikka, chicken tikka. Yeah, chicken tikka. Love chicken tikka. Yeah. So I just gotta pick it up like this. Oh, yeah. and then I'll just grab this one like that. Look at that, so delicious. Wow, I'll tell you, Good. that was the best thing I had in a few days. That was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys, thank you so much. All right, so right here they're making some chips. My friend over here is putting together mishkak, beef mishkak, which is like nice kebabs right in front of us. More chicken. This is the best barbecue in East Africa. Habibi, welcome to Mombasa. Habibi, Habibi. Oh, this is guy is awesome. Welcome, welcome. 
So what sauce is that? Is that tamarind or what is that? It's tamarind. Just like in uh, in Oman. In Oman, it's all tamarind. My friend, how are we doing this? Just like this. Mm. Mm. The juiciest chicken ever. Uh -huh. I know, I know, it's hot, it's hot. It's really hot. The tamarind, guys. Next mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. Next level food. Man. What an area. I mean, come here, eat everything on this strip. Let's put the potato in here and just press. Wow. Look at that, guys. Amazing machine, huh? But this is like the best machine ever to make fries, huh? Just one. Just brain. No force, just brain. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Just one, just one. In instead of one chop, it's one, one push. Yeah, one push. Slowly, two go. Slowly, yeah, yeah, like that. Perfect, perfect. That is amazing. So, like, look how they came out. This is the French fries. Perfect. That's incredible. Dude, this is an amazing machine. And this, is a, this was like an iron, right? Oh, wow. And the fire there, and then he fries it right now, right? Just gonna put it in and just straight in to the oil. That's a good reward after a third on tiring day. Obed, Tassos, and I had a crazy day. Cancel flight, we made it. The bag's lost. It's okay, it's coming later, hopefully. Yeah, you just take it easy. So where are we right now, Sam? We are in Malim Cafe, and we're gonna sample what they have for the morning snacks. That's what they say here. Morning snacks, they have a Mahambri, they have Mandazi. I'm sure you can see some samosas from this sun. Boiling, boiling, mm -hmm. very tasty samosas. So we're gonna do it, we'll see what best they have. Mahalim Cafe. Mahalim yes. Cafe. And look, right outside, they're making all the food. Look at this, guys. So over here, we got beef. Over there, we have more beef. Potatoes being cut. And over here, this is sambosa, also known as samosa, right? So is this beef or potatoes? Meat. So it's beef. Wow. Really, really hot, right? This fire is too much. The oil. And over here, we're going to enter this area. We're entering in here. Oh wow, so they're making lots of food in here. Look at this, potatoes, they got some chapati there, delicious oily chapati. So that, that's basically what we're gonna try, right? Yeah. A, a mix of all this. Oh, I'm super excited. Let's get in here, look at this, look at this potatoes, look at potatoes. Oh, potatoes with, with chili. It's I've chili, never seen that. Chili, yeah. So potatoes and chili, look, so he cuts the potato, boiled potato, he cuts it in half, fills it with chili, and then after that, he cuts it into pieces. And then that's fried? It's fried, this is fried after that? He puts it in the fryer? Okay, perfect, awesome. Look how good that looks. Wow. All right, so I'm trying the simplest way to peel potatoes. I'm not sure that I'm going to do it good, but let me try my best. Do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Am I there, am I there? Wait, 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 wait. Uh... Hey, I made it. Good. This is called Vyaz Vyakarai. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is called Vyaz Vyakarai. Yes, Vyakarai. Yeah. Vyaz Vyakarai. Potato. And this is called Chapati. Chapati, of course. Chapati, yeah. So, guys, I love being in kitchens like this, right? This is real street food, right? So, she's making chapatis. He's making these nice crispy potatoes with some chili on top or inside, right? Really nice and yummy. It's going to be good. Asante, asante. Potato with the chili. Mm -hmm. Soft, crispy, spicy. Very spicy. Oh, I'm gonna have another one of those. That's amazing. Come on. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Fresh mm. Oh, little sweet. Mm. Oh, wow. There's a body. Nice. Oh, 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 ah. Oh. Too hot. Oh. <laughs> hot chapati. It's good, but so hot. Very, very hot. There's an experience in here, man. It's great. It's great. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. No. Mm. You want to try and make it? Can I try make it? You gotta press harder. Like this one. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. 
Asante, Asante, Asante. All right, let's go, let's go. I need some chai. Oh, what are we doing here? I don't know. Looks like fufu. Looks like fufu. What is that? Oh, bananas, though. Look, bananas. That's, that's chapati. So this is how, where they make the chapati and then they take it to the other side. So the lady finishes. You mean the dough? Just, yeah, so is where they put together the dough. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you see how she makes? That's so over here, they're peeling the bananas after they've been boiled. And over here, they're boiled, right? Boiled, you said. And then they're grating coconut here. I love the glasses, bro. So we're gonna try the banana thing. So they're preparing the bananas here, and then after here they put them on coconut. So this is other preparation. This is how it looks You see? So they wrap it in coconut, sitting ready there. So after they boil them together, and then they normally love it uh, when it's fried. Uh, they keep it for 24 hours somewhere to cool and then later on we have a good test. So let's see we have ready ones here. Let's feel how good they are. So I'm gonna have a test of this. So let me try how it feels. Wow. Super, super sweet. It has a very, very good taste. You can feel the taste of coconut too and also the sugary part of the banana so it's really really good we have one here for this guy so he needs to try and test this it's really good okay my turn right yeah oh wow mm. it's so sweet it's a like sweet from banana and coconut mm -hmm. get it with the soup mm -hmm. whoa so good. Banana and coconut, that pairing, unreal. Mm -hmm. From this. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, can I, I can, like drink the soup though? Like, oh. Oh, so good. You have to try this one. Yeah. All right, guys, that was delicious. Let's go inside Melim Cafe and have some chai and a few other snacks. All right, this is awesome. Jumbo, jumbo. Trying it, Tassos? Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It is so refreshing. This, this is the best. It's good when it is sunny. And when it's hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when it is sunny. It gives you energy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wow. drink this. It's this amazing. Okay, yeah. It's amazing. Passion, than whatever it's here. I mean, the ginger in here. Yeah. It's very easy Ginger's to... Ginger's good with everything. Ginger too, right? Yeah. Ginger's like the best. Super healthy too. Oh, I'll have another one. Of course. Wow. I'm ready for the whole day. For the whole day. I can go on like 24 hours after this. Wow. This is our breakfast. It's monstrous. Sambosa, bajia, chapati, fish. Potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, this is beans with coconut. With coconut, guys. I cannot wait. We got beef. We have like a gravy. We have some biscuits, and then we have these that I had earlier. These are the potatoes that have chili. Let me show you. Look, so nice and red inside. Woo! We're starting from here. I think you love this. Let's I love it. this. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier. Oh. It's hot. Spicy, right? Yeah. Very Spicy, nice. crispy. I'm gonna try this. Mm -hmm. No, no, I love this. This is the best tamarind wow. juice of all time. The Come ginger, right? Yeah, it's really, really good. So you fold it, yeah. Fold it. So you make this. Oh, we're gonna put it like that? Yes. Oh, see? look at that. Yeah, look at that. I'll tell you, anything that has coconut yeah. is always good. All right. Are we ready? Oh, let's do it. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's like chunky and sweet. Yeah, oh. you can feel the coconut too. Throughout the whole thing, right? Yeah, throughout and, the whole thing. A nice crispy oily chapati. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's too much, man. So these are kidney beans, right? Mm. Yeah. 
so good. Mm -hmm. You just put them out. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of this. Hands down, one of my favorite beans ever. I've never had that combination in my life. Next up, samosa, sambosa. These are nice, small. Oh, it's gonna go. Mmm, minced beef. I mean, they, they're generous with it. If you see inside, so much beef, right? Not as small. Sometimes, just very doughy and airy. And the meat, the meat meat is spicy. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is super spicy, but, that meat, but not too hot. Just put some spice, it's normal spicy. For me, nothing here is really spicy. Spices. That's the Indian influence, right? Mm. This is just like chai in India or Cafe Con Leche in Miami. We call it chai here too. <coughs> yeah, it's milk chai, right? Yeah. So it's milk and tea. And lots of sugar. Lots and lots of sugar. And this is bajia. It's called bajia. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. mm. Crispy. Grainy. Grainy. Mm. Crispy and grainy. It's good. Wow. Well, I was going to grab a piece, right? Because I feel like if I, if I go too much to patty, I get too full, right? Mm -hmm. Nice beef stew. You put this on top of the beef? So what is this? It's too spicy. I think it's more chili. It's like a chili, like a chili gravy or chili sauce right there? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's spicy. Oh my God. That's good, but there's, there's a lot of chilies there. You can even see the chili flakes throughout the whole thing. <laughs> I need to try that out. Try it, try it. All right. Yeah, take it, take it. Uh, it literally falls off the bone, right? Yeah. No, the beef's great. Oh. And it literally just like comes apart, nice and tender. I'm having a lot of it, so let me see how good I'll be. I'll get another piece. All right, three, two, go. Oh, it's good. Mm -hmm. Feel it, right? Chapati, chapati. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> so this is what people eat here every day every in this day. restaurant? Breakfast is how we eat the breakfast. Perfect. Every breakfast. It's amazing. Yes. And the fish, obviously big staple here in Mombasa, right? Yeah. Nice fish. I love snapper. What I like about snapper is that it's so easy to eat. Not too many bones in snapper, right? So the way we do it is just go in here, break off like that. Take all that beautiful meat right off the bone right there you have the spine and then you get chili so i gotta be careful i'm gonna take out all the spines right or the, the all the little bones and then over here we go to the chili That's a lot. <laughs> the, you need a lot man let's go it's not good chili yeah mm -hmm. so good Mm. You can feel the taste of the lime you said. Uh huh. Lemon. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, really good yeah you need that lime, right? Yeah, you it's always good with something fried, right? Yeah. And what I love about this place is that you really see the everything being made right outside, so you know it's fresh every single day. They eat like this. You can also have biryani and pilau, but that's like that's like lunch, right? Lunch. Mm. Oh, I gotta show you something. You have to try the chili. Woo! This is why in India, you have chai, right? Because you cut it. Whenever you got heat, you need dairy. Wow. That was delicious. That was a delicious meal. Heavy meal. Oh my God, I'm full. Biryani? Yeah, biryani. All right, guys. Let me show you this, guys. Over here, they're making biryani. Right there? Which is biryani? This one. Woo! Too much smoke. Look at this. Briani maker. Let's get in the tuk tuk and let's go explore more Mombasa. Okay, let's go. Oh. Come on, Tassos. Join me for an adventure. Let's go, let's go. Excited. There's no better way to get around Mombasa 
getting a Tuk Tuk Explorer. I want to buy one of these one day, right? I know a bunch of friends of mine who bought these in Sri Lanka and just drove around Sri Lanka. Yeah, in Sri Lanka it's a thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. They even had like a couple of weeks ago the Tuk Tuk tournament. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. My boy Steve Yalo was there. Yeah, so that was Steve. <laughs> So first uh, uh, impressions of Mombasa, it's a lively city, super friendly, amazing food. We got here yesterday like at 5 p.m. We went straight for street food and then today it's more street food. We don't go to restaurants anymore. We eat on the street. That's the Tusk and those are the gateways to this avenue, Moy Avenue, right? Moy Avenue. So many tutus, man. I haven't seen this many tutus in Kenya yet, right? Yeah, no, in India for sure. <laughs> yeah, this is the biggest market in the city. It is huge, it is lively. We have butchers, we have food, fruits, vegetables, crafts, you name it, spices. Come in, come in, let's go, let's go. Eric, Eric, Eric's my guide. He's taking me around. Let's go inside. Okay, oh, look at this, spices. Yeah, you have everything. Everything, right? So over here, look, look, we have some hot Kashmiri chili. We have jeera, we have beef curry, just lots of different curries. Turmeric, of course, of course, love turmeric. Mm -hmm. Tassi, you ready? I'm so ready, let's go. Chili seeds. <laughs> just trap in your face. Crazy, I can't do that. Of, instead of one person, we sit ten. ten of <laughs> oh, asante, 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 too much, too much. So guys, everything we see here are like a mix of spices. And then we have mangoes, amazing mangoes. Oh, these are good right here too. Oh, look at this, right here. Chili powder. And right here we have coconuts, right? These are the little coconuts. Look, have you ever seen these? These are different, right? And over here they have honey. So is this is this like real honey or is there sugar in here? Original from the bee. Yeah? Oh. Wow. Nice flour. Mm -hmm. No sugar in there. I hope not, because that is like sweet, yeah. but the fragrance. How much for one of these? 1,000. 1,000, so like eight US dollars for this. And so basically this is what we're gonna see throughout the whole market on this section, right? It's gonna be a mix of spices, vegetables, honey, coconuts, yes. little coconut. This, this is the coconut from- uh, From the original tree, coconut tree. This is original one. Yeah, I know, but this is the smaller one. This is the smaller no, tree. But they, it's expensive. This is 170 bob. Yeah? There's no coconut now. It's not the time. It's not the season for Oh, it's coconut. not season. Yes. So what, how and do you get... The time, is, the time is a big one like this, coconut. Just because this is a small one, but high price. Next time when the men are... Men, men coconut, small, cheap, cheap. Got it, got it, got it. No so coconut, yeah, it's supply and demand, right? Basically. For, for you? <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice whip. Asante, Asante, Asante. I appreciate you guys. Welcome, thanks. Oh, little kittens here. So beautiful, so look, look. Super, super nice tomatoes. Over here we have some onions. Right here, like a nice okra stew. Nice and slimy. This is in the end, right, in terms of vegetables. Oh, look at the chilies, right? So again, the same thing, right? Potatoes, tomatoes, onions, a cucumber. And then over here we have a handful of chilies, right? All right, watch this, guys, watch this. One more. One more. You are look very fit. Take one more. <laughs> oh, I lied. That was, that was hot. That was hot. Look, more chili, more chili. Bro, look, look. This is tamarind. And this is the most recommended area to buy spices because they have best spices in Kenya. And also their packaging is best enough that anyone who is flying all the way to Chicago, where any continent, with the packaging, you are whatever spices will be always safe. So Mr. Ali here has yes. coffee, tea, spices, yes. yeah, everything. Mango tea, banana tea, hibiscus tea, vanilla tea, ginger tea, lemongrass wow. tea. <laughs> wake up tea, wake up tea. That's good, that's good. Welcome, brother. So I need something to sleep, you know, to relax. I'll try one, right? Okay, no problem. I've, I think I've had this like twice in my life where I've had it like this, right? We have two types of strong. We have the strong one and the mild strong. So this is more strong. They call it Arabica. Oh wow. We also have the mild strong. This is mild strong. Whoa. That one like woke me up right away. Like, whoa. Energy booster. Yes, very good. Mm-hmm. Light. Light strong though. Oh my gosh. These are some of the best smells, you know, <laughs> some of the best uh, you know, 
Beer that I can beat. Spices I've ever That's smelled. Wow. Tea. Very nice. Yeah. This cold brew. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. My office. I'm gonna have this. Okay. Thank you so much. For scooping, maybe I have a stew. You have a. You can serve with it. Just like like a serving spoon, right? Yeah. It's actually a serving spoon. Coconut. Very very good. We will lose it forever. So right here we have chicken curry. It's seven different spices mixed together. We have, it's uh, ginger, chili, uh, turmeric, uh, pilau spice, cumin, and curry powder. Wow, so I just bought some. I bought like, a, what is it, 100 grams? Yeah, 100 grams. 100 grams, whatever that is, like three US dollars. I think it's a good deal. I'm gonna throw that, when I get home, on some chicken, throw on the barbecue, nice and yummy, right? Yeah, yeah. It looks amazing, and the smell, look at that. Wow. You know what's crazy? It smells like India to me, man. It's like, it's purely India, man. Yeah, it's, it's very, very popular. Oh, it's so good, so good. And to be honest with you, my favorite is this one, guys. Ginger, yeah, just a little taste of ginger. Like that. It's hot, it's hot. No, it's strong, it's like pungent. Yeah. Like after this, this is my water? This is my water? Oh, oh it's strong. It is strong. Look at all these chilies, guys. Never ending chilies here. So we have a mix of chili paste. You have here like little bird eye chili. These are the ones from Kerala, it's super, super spicy. And you can buy in this, like big vats, right? Oh, super heavy. So there's the chili king, right? King. You're the king of chili. Of chili yeah. Let me see you eat some chili. You're gonna eat it? Oh my gosh. That looks spicy, man. I'm gonna pass on that because I was dying earlier from the chili. LeBron, LeBron. All right, all right, here we go. But you find mostly during the weekdays, they are very busy. But today it's on a weekend. Let's hope we we'll get some beef, chicken, mutton. But you can't find pig. That is haram. Of course you can't find pig. Wherever you go, where it's a Muslim culture, no pig, forbidden. And because it's today's Sunday, it's a holy day, not that much action right now. So we're just like literally waiting for customers to come in. As yeah. soon as a customer comes in, they cut. And look, look, they're going to cut right now. See over here, this gentleman is, uh, he's cutting. Oh, wow. So we have a client here. Look at the stomach. Pleasure. Nice to meet you, Guyo. So we're going to get a jersey. Kenya? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kenya? Yes. Okay, perfect. So this, this is incredible, right? So, so lively, right? This is, this is like a real market right african market so here we have sandals um there's non-stop sandals it's like the sandal king my friend how you doing jumbo jumbo pleasure nice to meet you jumbo yeah benzema everybody loves this everybody loves this all right benzema, benzema. i guess everybody loves benzema obviously ballon de oro um chelsea it's like I i've never seen oh this is this is nice this is nice look at that the pride of africa right oh what is happening here there's all gas tanks Water, that's all water. Look at this, just nonstop tuk tuks. I'm gonna buy a tuk tuk. We buy, we drive to Nairobi in a tuk tuk. Oh, look at this guy. No, we're buying, we're buying one of these. Yeah, come on, we're, we're, we'll buy one. Very good, yourself? Okay, okay, we'll buy one. Wow. So juicy, this watermelon. Look at that, just like drips. Super tasty. You're very nice. Sante, Sante, Sante. So good, so good. Hey, go to this watermelon vendor. He has such delicious watermelon. Super, super sweet. Yeah, the clothing market right here. This is incredible. This is incredible. Look at this. We're looking for a jersey right now. Kenyan jersey. Beautiful stuff. Wow. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at all the jerseys. My brother. What's the best thing in Kenya? No, but this is just Kenya official. I'm gonna try this on. Maybe take the shirt off. The pride of Africa, right? Let's not lose Benzema here. Pride of Africa, right? I like it though, what do you think? This is the emblem, right? What do you think, cool? Ready? I don't wanna rip it. That's what I get, I get scared ripping. Have I gained too much weight, Tassos? Have I gained too much weight? No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I do like Cristiano. Cristiano, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm taking this one. I'm taking this one. No, this is celebrating this way. Okay, very nice. So I bought two jerseys. Amazing. So I continue with this. Okay. And then we go. Okay, so how much do I owe you? So one, two.
you so much. You appreciate it, appreciate it. I look good, right? Kenya? Now we represent Kenya. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, this is awesome. Jambo Kenya. Habari Ghani. Amazing. I love this place. It's incredible. It's like so much life here, right? Wow, just non-stop. No street food though, no street food. Street food's at, more at night, guys. So you know, like right now, it's more like biryani and pilau, so we might go do that. Yep. Have some lunch, right? All right, you ready for some biryani? I can't wait. Let's go. You know, people are so friendly here. Super friendly. They're like, yeah, yeah come take my picture. Here, we're doing it. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it for the market, right? So it's those two sections, and then you have all the clothing. You have some luggage. Big market. We'll walk around for a few hours. We did over two hours here. Now we're gonna have some food. We're starving, we need some biryani. And yeah, so we're just going through traffic right now, trying to make our way to this biryani spot. Biryani and pilau. So we're gonna have some nice rice with some raita. Kenyan, Kenyan biryani, bro. All right, guys. Biryani center, okay? No problem. Biryani salad. So what's happening here? That is the biryani. We're getting the biryani out, right? So this is how it's, how it is, right? They make it in the morning, then when it's done, they bring it out here and they mix the meat and the rice. So that's what they're doing right now. So that's potatoes. Is this chicken in here? Chicken? No, meat. No, meat. Meat, so beef. Go, go, go. Boom, right there. Incredible. I love how I've seen this in so many places around the world, man. The biryani, biryani is the best, right? Spiced rice dish, multiple layers. Wow. Massive, huh? Amuhadi Cafe, nice mutton biryani. They also have chicken. So right here we have the basmati rice. Woo, super hot. They put the mutton to the goat, got salad, throw chili on top. Mm, smells so good, I can't wait to dive my hands in there, right? This is a full portion, right? So this is like 500, right? So we're getting a half portion. I won't lie to you, I've eaten all day long, so I'm pretty full, but here we go. Bam. I love it, I love it. Let me try one time, can I try? Watch this, guys. Look at this. That is mutton. Go. Asante, asante. Awesome. Whoa, look at this dish. All right, here we go, guys. Biryani. Look at this biryani, so good. Mutton biryani. We're super excited to have a test of this. I can't wait to taste this. So the way it works with biryani, right? You gotta use your hands, wash your hands. We have a little washing station over there. You go in, what you do is you break the meat like that, right? Very soft. soft super and soft. Tender. Mm -hmm. With some nice masalas. Yeah. So we're gonna do it like this. And then best thing to do is add some of this chili from the side. It's like some chili right there. Yeah. Put some chili myself. I got it. And then if you want, you make it into a ball, right? Yeah, you can make it like a round ball. Round ball. Like this. This is my favorite, dude. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's good. Mm hmm. It's more than good. It's like delicious. So, so good. Mm hmm. Wow. My favorite biryani is mutton biryani. Mm. Way better than chicken, right? Just like that. Wow. Mm hmm. So, this is so, so good. So you guys do the same as like the Indians, right? Just separate? Separate them, put them together. Look at that, nice balls. And, also, and, those. The, and they also mix it with potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can see you got some potatoes. So I want to see how they're checking the potatoes. Mm. It's so good. Very, very good. And the chili is not too hot? Not too hot. Mm. Just very okay for everybody. You can check the chili, it's okay for everybody. Not yeah. too hot. And what like, I love about this is the masala. Yeah. The masala that, that the goat has been like sitting in for days and cooked in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. And we got a half portion, 250, which I think is a great deal. I think that's like two bucks. Two bucks. Two bucks. Only two bucks. And we have all this meal. For two people to eat. For two people who are eating two bucks. It's amazing. And you can also get chicken. That starts at 400 each, right? So yeah. 400 for breast, 400, 400 for leg. Yeah. Or 450 for leg, I think. Oh yeah. Mm. And then here's some bones. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Sam, thank you so much for bringing us here. The meat is very soft. So what you're supposed to do with biryani is like, get everything, put it together. And then depending on your taste, if you want more rice, add more rice. If you don't, and then 
This is the way I've learned to do it. Other people put it in the palm of their hand. And you put it on these three fingers right there. And then from there, pushing them out. Mm. Fantastic. I love this biryani. And they have so many customers. Oh, so many. We, we also have a drink, right? Yeah, we do have a drink. We have a tamarind drink. So you guys are really into tamarind. I guess it's very tropical, right? Yeah. Mm. The same? No, no ginger no. in this one. Yeah. It's pure tamarind. Pure oh. tamarind. Yeah. Still tastes good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice and sweet. It's also frozen, right? So they bring it out. It melts because the heat here in Mombasa. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> good. You feel good? Very good. I feel great. I I'm feeling out fresh again. <laughs> I know, I know. Dude, I can't leave this. Let's keep doing it that again one last time. All right, one last bite. The rest is for tassels. What a delicious biryani. What a great day. We're exploring the Makati market. Marikiti market. Marikiti. Yeah, we come from the Marikiti market. It was really, really good. Yeah, we started with spices, fruits, vegetables. We tried so many different things. Everybody's super friendly, super lively. Yeah. And then we walked over to the, like the butcher section. And this Pretty guy dead. Tried a spicy, spicy chili. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th that was awful, bro. Yeah. I, I almost died there, but uh, it's okay. So we saw the butcher section, it's pretty dead because it is Sunday, yeah. but there was a few clients, so they did have, you know, some things happening. Yeah. And then we walked through, I bought a jersey, actually two Canyon of them. Canyon jersey. Canyon jersey. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, all that's happening there is just like secondhand clothes, they got shoes, sandals, watermelon vendors, lots of fruits, right? Lots of fruits yeah, there. Today I'm right here on the water at a tea stall. Look at this, guys, it's incredible. So we have all the guys relaxing here. We're gonna have some chai, and then from here we're gonna walk out to this area where the fort is, and we're gonna eat some street food. Here we go. That was amazing. So people sit here, relax, get the breeze. Beautiful view. We have some fishermen over there, and right here, we have the guy making some chai, right? So we're gonna wait, because he has two different types of chai, right? So he has milk chai, and then he just has black, right? So that's tea. Chai is tea. What is your name, boss? Rai. Oh, sorry? Rai. Rai is a, is a tea guy. So I'm sure you can see everybody here, streams here, to have a taste of tea made by this guy called Rai. So this is little, little cups. This is for black tea? Black coffee. Black coffee. This is for black coffee. And uh, you can see the unique glasses they put the, the tea. And what's the food there? It's yeah. <laughs> These are cutlets. Okay, so I'm gonna try one of these. Yeah. It's like a, ooh, a super sticky ball, right? Oh. What do you think? Like pure sugar, man. Delicious, sweet. Sugar, mm -hmm. sugar, sugar. <laughs> mm -hmm. It has a sweet tooth, so it loves sugar. Look at this. Oh, it just breaks. Literally falls apart. So it's a mix of, I guess, uh, some potatoes, right? Mixed with some onions, some herbs and meat. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. So tasty. Mm -hmm. Crumbly. With the spices. Mm -hmm. All the spices. A lot of spices, I'm sure. A lot of spices. It reminds me of some cutlets I've had in India. In terms of those spices, right? Obviously the influence here, but wow. It's so good. delicious. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. I'll have more of that later. All right. So right now I need some chai, but. We had Biazi before, but. Oh, wait, look, look, look. Biazi. So that's uh, potatoes, right? I'm having that. Just for us? Oh, wow. Tassos, try it. I'll try it, but I, what is it again? It's potatoes with chunny. Uh, yeah. Oh. Huh? First of all, it's spicy. Why don't people tell me what stuff is spicy? Why everywhere in the world? Apart from Greece, everywhere is spicy. Huh? Like, I can survive like this, you know? It, it's tasty though. So nice potatoes. And then we got some chutney. A lot of potatoes today. A lot of potatoes, right? <laughs> it's yeah. all about potatoes. Mm. Ginger. I can't taste the ginger. I think I've tasted it. Yeah. yeah. Nice chutney. Mm -hmm. A little spicy. spicy. Yeah, that's right. right. A little spicy, but it's good. These are snacks. Also, this is snacks, right? Yes. And they all pair with that. Right there. Tea, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay, definitely eat more of this, right? While we wait for our tea. This is fantastic chutney. Mmm. It reminds me of coconut chutney, but with spice. Mmm. Oh, this is ginger chai. Ginger tea. Mm -hmm. This is coffee. Very, very strong coffee. Mmm. Oh, I'll tell you. This is so good. No milk, just black tea with some ginger. No sugar. Pure, pure coffee.
It's coffee and water. I don't think this has sugar for sure. Has sugar? I don't think this has sugar. No sugar here. No. This is like the most pungent tea of all time. Look at this. Look at the color. Red and brown. His is like completely black, completely right? Black. I think I can feel it in my brain, actually. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it's moving. Well, my friend, Cheers. thank you so much. I love the setting right here, right? So we're on the Indian Ocean, beautiful coastline. Yeah. You have all the houses. There's some people swimming across. We're some having fishermen. Good time, mm -hmm. Relaxing. There were some guys crossing the whole most of the other side. <laughs> you see how far there? Wow. They crossed all the way across. Yeah, they like do. they went from here to there. Yeah, from here all the way to the other side. Man, I'm about to jump in that water too. With this heat here, yeah, that's super refreshing. <laughs> Maybe later in the trip I jump in. Yeah, you should. Then yeah. cross to the other side. Oh, this is amazing. I'll take some I think we gotta try the other one though, right? Masala sure. chai. Yeah, masala chai. For me, eh, hey. asante, asante. Woo, it's hot. Mm hmm. Oh, so frothy. Look at this. Nice. I don't think there's any cardamom or ginger in here, though. It's more plain. Personally, oh, that burns. I like the ginger chai way more. That one's phenomenal. This is good, but I feel like this, I can have it, you know, a lot of places, right? Oh, so cooling, though, right? With the nice breeze, super nice setting. It was great. All right, you guys ready for some street food? I'm ready. Let's continue. Pleasure. Thank you so much, Sante. Awesome. It's okay if I this because because we're sleeping, no? <laughs> yeah, Tassos can't take that. That's too too strong for 5 p.m. Too strong. It's like literally we just stay up all night. Ready? Yeah, we're ready to go. Street food. Let's go. Sante ni sana. Tumeshkuru kwa na wakati mwema. Meshkuru sana. Karibun. Karibun is welcome. It's welcome again. This is the old town, and you find old town is the first town to develop in Kenya, dated from early 9th century. And you find old town is managed by UNESCO, since it is a world heritage site. And that's why you see all buildings look similar, unlike with the new town where we were, where the spice market is. And now you find most of the restoration of these buildings are being done by UNESCO and they have to maintain it so as not to interfere with the heritage. So as we enter the old town you can see a beautiful street over here we have the fort this is Fort Jesus protected sea wall right and then over here we have like a kettle right so it's street trolleys in Mombasa is from uh, 1890 to 1990 that was the main transportation right? Restored by UNESCO amazing. The first club in Kenya since 1896 during the colonial time and in 1963, when Queen Elizabeth came to Kenya, she spent a night here. So it is very famous with the British. How are you, Tony? I'm good. What about you? So what do you do here? Yeah, we do recycle. So everything we do here is recycle. Basically, we collect the plastic, and then we do that. It's called local art. It's called juakali art. So we cut the plastics, and then we create the clouds, and then we use the stencil. The stencil basically is the cutout of the, the animals. And then we use like the oil colors. Tony does some amazing stuff, guys. Love it. Look, this one is pretty epic. So for 800, so something like seven US dollars, you can get this, right? Really beautiful souvenir. So I'm gonna look around. Maybe I buy something from him, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth it. Beautiful. I love this other one too. This is super nice, right? So it's all recycled goods. It's all recycled and he uses stencil. I mean, I don't know, I'm not sure if I, if I have space for this, you know? My friend, we'll take two. We'll take two. Thank you. We appreciate you. Asante Sana. I love this guy. This is my guy. This is my best friend here. Thank you so much. Asante. When I come back, we we'll go for a coffee. Let's see. Kahawa. Kahawa. Kahawa is coffee. It's like when you come back. Yeah, Kahawa, Kahawa. And right here we have the UNESCO World Heritage Fort of Jesus National Monument. I think it's closed, unfortunately. But look at this beautiful site here. Definitely got to visit. It's closed, right? It's closed. Yeah. So it closed at 5? Down. At 6, it is 7.57. Oh, it's 7. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's beautiful, right? So from there, you have great views of the whole city, right? Yep. It's 8 hours. Okay, so we're trying something right now called CAT, which means stimulant drug. Basically, it speeds up the uh, message between the brain and the body. I've never tried this before. I'm only doing it for camera. I'm just going to have a little taste. 
Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So take one piece. And then this is how you do it. So you chew the back of it. So you chew like this. Then you remove the top, you see? So you remove the back of it and then you chew it. I won't lie to you. I feel something. Do you feel something? Mm hmm. Like it hits you pretty quickly, right? Rip off a piece. Here we go. It normally goes hand in hand with uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. You can take it with coffee. You can take it with energizer. You can take it with the uh, groundnut, which is really good. Whoa. I've never tried it before, but whoa. It's intense. And you were saying this is like the most addictive um, drug. drug in the world? Yes, actually, that's true. And the best ones actually come from Yemen. Mm -hmm. They also grow this. The best ones come from Yemen. The second one comes from Kenya. And then the third one is Ethiopia. Okay. So the country that have the best cuts. In Kenya, we export them mostly to Somalia. The Somalis, they love this a lot. Mm -hmm. So our main market in Kenya is Somalia. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I was just reading about it. And it's like throughout the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, basically the Arabian Peninsula, going yeah. to Somalia and to Kenya. I mean, it's good to be honest with you. I'm done because I feel. I feel like you know what it is. It's like yeah. it's like a vibration. Yeah. Between like brain and body. And it's intense. So I'm good. People, I'm good. People when they're chewing it, you find people have a lot of them on one side, and they use it with gum. So someone can chew it for a long time when they have all this pack of leaves. So some people put them. This on is. one side. Whoa. My tongue feels weird too, right? I know. It's like a little numbing. But I think it's good. It's good, but yeah, it it's is a drug. Good, it is a drug. Yeah, it's a drug. <laughs> yeah, so you need to hit that one. The one you're throwing away. Yeah, I understand. Is that strong? It, it's a weird feeling. I, mean, you, you I can tell why it's addictive. What you're throwing away, okay? What you have in your hand. Like this. Chew this. So you leave the rest. Not this? No. <laughs> And uh, shoot? Yep. Hand with coffee. Yeah. That's why you can see coffee point here. Yeah. People doing coffee here. So what street is this? Makadara Street. Makadara? Yeah. We have Makadara ground in the other side. Shkak. Shawarma. Oh! Look at the grouper. This is a rockfish. So we're next to the mouthwatering dishes. We have a nice fish here. So this is fish barbecue, huh? It's grilled fish. Grilled fish. What do you have there? Oh, look at that. Sambo. Mishkak. Oh, look at the Mishkak King. Hassan Mishkak King. What is this? It's actually beef. Beef? So what are you doing there? Lemon, ginger, yeah. This guy's amazing. So he's making the mishkak and then he also has this machine to extract sugarcane juice. He added uh, lemon and also he added ginger, right? That's Inside. How, that's how you know it's going to be good. That's how you, you know. Ginger. Yeah, this is the same thing as India. India, you have this all over every street. Yeah. Every no, street. It's, for us. it's ready for us. It's ready, it's ready. Yeah. This is ready. Oh, that's tamarind, right? Yeah. Let's do ready. this. Ready. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. So easy to eat this. Mm -hmm. So tasty, juicy. You can feel the tamarind juice. Mm -hmm. And the fat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's more fatty, right? Mm. Oh, so fatty. Come look, guys. Look at the bottom here. It's like all tamarind juice. You just mix it in with some of this. I'm trying to improvise my. I can have those. Like that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good with salad. So good with salad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salad is like drenched in tamarind, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I feel some heat though, right? Feel it? Yeah. The, the spice is a bit. No, it's good though. Tamarind, they always mix it with a little bit of heat. You can't like even pick it up right here. I see. Yeah, yeah, like that. Well, that was horrible. 
Whatever, let's keep eating, right? Mm. You know what we need to do? Hand? Let's touch our hand. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? I'm ready. This is perfect. So good. The tamarind. Same thing in Oman, very similar. Mm -hmm. Now we're going the delicious sugarcane juice. The best thing on planet Earth. Mix with some ginger and some lime. And some lime. Oh. Wow. And this heat, so you refreshing. You need a lot of this every day. You need it every day, man. Yeah. I think I have more. You're going to have more? <laughs> we should get some more, though. We should. This cock is good. Mm. Super tasty, easy meal right here on the street. We're next to this hotel. Only for 20 cents to get one piece and you also give you some salad. 20 cents, so yeah. what do we get, like $2? Yeah. This dish? Plus no, this? We only got it for $1. Our meal for $1. All this? Yeah. $1? Yeah. No way. How many did you have? I think we had like uh, five, no, 10. Oh, yeah. $2. Fine. You're right. $2. What do you got? Mm hmm. Wow, what a meal. That was like perfect. They hit the spot. Uh, so what I love about Mombasa is the influence of culture here, right? So you have Arab culture, and, yeah, and, and Swahili, Swahili, Swahili culture. And then you have Indian. Yeah. So and like have Indian. everything mixed. Mixture. The food is everywhere. We're going to rock all the way down there. We'll see what best we can get. So we're we'll I mean, still rocking and rolling and rolling all the way. Everywhere you look, somebody's cooking something. Exactly. It's a grill. Yeah. And okay. people are on the mall. People are eating and eating and eating all the way. Yeah, that's one thing you have to know about this place is that like between like, let's say 2 p.m. and 5, people go inside, siesta, because it's so hot. Very similar to Middle East, right? You're right. My friend and I were in Iraq. Between like 2, two and five, 6, nothing. nothing. You just stay indoors. Here in Mombasa, is actually close to that. So from this time, that's when people are more active, and that's why we have a lot of street food going on. Awesome. Continue? Yeah. Let's go. All let's, the best. See you then. See you, what do you mean? See you, you go. I'm saying here. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Way more street food, right? We got chicken tikka. Amazing. Look at this. This hasn't been cooked. This is all cooked, nice and charred. So, like every few minutes, he just keeps putting more and more on as people order. Right behind us, we have shawarma. Oh, I love this, man. This is good. How are you, Mambo? Mambo. You okay? Mazusala. Barca. Oh, Barca restaurant. Yeah, Barca restaurant. Mambo ni. Mambo ni. Supa. Supa. Mambo ni bien. Mambo ni ajab. Tell me. The president who Mambo just Ajab. left Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah. Uh -huh. This was his famous restaurant whenever he came to Mombasa. No way. Very famous. Very famous. Yeah. What do we do? Shawarma? What do we do? I mean, this is so much. You have VIP. VIP seating. Yeah, see. What, what, what do we eat here? The shawarma? Shawarma, the insect. You go inside everything. Everything? Yeah. So he has pita here. He's going to cut a pita in half, and you're going to stuff it, right, with chicken shawarma. Chicken. And I put salad, you see, and then I had some meat. Yeah. Like this one. Tomato sauce. Nice. Nice one. And then I had this one, mayonnaise. Can I have this one? Yeah. All right, so let me throw some chili okay. for mine. Okay. A little bit of chili right there. Now I have to make it roll. Okay, now it's ready to heat. Hey, hey. Oh, that's how they say yes, hey, right? That's how you say yes, yes, hey, yes, hey. hey, hey. Hey, boss, hey, hey boss. boss. No, boss, no, hey. You say yes. Hey, hey, hey. Remember which is the spicy one. Remember yeah, the spicy remember one. The spicy. This is awesome. This guy's amazing. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Mike. Mike? Yeah. Mike, thank you so much. Mike. No, it's Barca restaurant. Yeah, Barca restaurant. What's this dish? This is Swahili pizza. Swahili pizza? Yeah. No way. It's like a beef. With eggs. It's amazing. It's delicious. Shawarma, two days in a row. Shawarma. Oh yes, mine has some chili. His doesn't. I'm good. I'm ready. It's heaven in a wrap. Mm. The guy is making the pizza behind us. Wow. That's how we make it. How much, my friend? How much do we owe you? It's a good deal. Mm. Mm. I love it. Super soft. Peter. 
Can't stop. Can't stop. Uh. Can't stop, won't stop. I mean, this is amazing. I love it. We're out here, in the middle of the street, eating on the street. Tutus all behind us everywhere. I'm so happy. I'm happy here. You're happy here? Look, he's doing it right here. That's the one thing we haven't tried. So the one thing we haven't tried here in Mombasa is the Swahili pizza. So that's basically just minced meat with some eggs, mixed in some dough, and they put it on the tawa. It looks phenomenal. Stuff. Can't, can't wait. And it's 250 and it cuts it into eight pieces. So it's good. I mean, good deal, right? It's a great deal. It's a great deal. Like we almost had this yesterday, if you remember. But we're stuffed. But we're stuffed. So thank God because we can try today. Yeah, yeah. This is awesome. I'm super excited for this one. Ready? Yeah, it's got a little piece, right? right? And then it comes with two different sauces. Tamarind for sweetness, chili, chili. for heat. I guess yeah. we'll go with tamarind, right? Sure. Oh, it's still super hot, right? A little bit. Oh, wow. It's good. Oh, ready. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like a pizza. Mm -hmm. is, this, is this lamb? Mm -hmm. it might yeah, be lamb. I think, I think it's lamb. Nice sweet tamarind. Oh, but it's still super hot, right? Yeah, it is hot. Oh! Ah! What, this? No. How do we get that? Hand? Hmm? I guess hand, right? I mean, but this is like mayonnaise, right? Yeah, mayo and sauce. Mm. This is good. It's good. Salad, mayo, you can feel the mayo, you can feel the, also the, the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. So it's sweet, right? So I think we, can, we need to try this pizza with now, with this together, or what do we do? Or, we try yeah. with chili, right? All right. You want, how much do you want? Like a, a tiny bit? Yeah. We got tiny? All right, fine. I go for a little more, guys. Today I almost died having a chili in the market. As well, I'm being okay. careful too, right? It's good. Not so spicy. Nice kick, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a chili chutney. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. A little bit. I love this dish. Yeah. I'll say it hands down, this is probably my favorite dish of the day. So good. It reminds me of one of these Lebanese dishes, lamajin, which is like a, 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 you have it also in Turkey, you have in Iraq, lamajin, it's like a pizza, but it's not closed, right? This is on the tawa, a little different, the other ones go into the oven. Love this. This is for tassels, tassels, eat away, man. Mm. I'm full. Dude, I'm, I'm stuffed. <laughs> right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. My man, my man. How you doing? Man? Good, you? Yeah. I'm the hood. Yeah, that's awesome. You're like two days here, you, have, you already have best friends. What's happening here? That's how friendly people are here, right? This is good, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. I said before starting the dish, I was like, I'll, I'll only have one piece, but like. No, you need two, you need two, you need two. You know, the honest truth here is the Mombasa food is out of control. Definitely beats Nairobi. Sorry, Nairobi, but this is too good, right? I'm gonna eat the last one here. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey. Santa Sana. Santa Sana. Okay. Santa Sana. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Love it, love it. Hey, the best pizza. Mamboni Hajab. Uh, Mamboni Hajab. Mamboni Hajab. Uh, Mamboni Hajab. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, okay Santa Sana. Santa Sana. Let's go, let's go. This is a remote coastal village about a three hour drive north of Mombasa. And the reason we came out here today is to experience true local life. We're gonna try some grilled seafood, which we haven't done yet. We're gonna try some palm wine and then we're gonna also interact with locals. Follow me guys. It's really early. You know, we woke up at six in the morning, drove three hours north, slept half the way, still a little groggy, but I'm ready, I'm excited. This is why I came to Africa for experiences like this, right? To see how people live on a day to day. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So you're a guide, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm Ali. Ali. Ali, welcome, Pleasure. welcome, welcome. To nice to village. meet you, Ali. And uh, I introduced Mr. Kiriwa. 
He is going to be our, our trapper today, taking the wine, how he can process the wine until the end. Also take the wine to test the wine also. Perfect. Yeah, and uh, yeah, after that we're going to see how it produce the cones and so on. But first we start with, with the wine. He's starting making his knife very sharp. Okay. Yeah, he'll be showing us how he can make his knife sharp using... This is a, it's a leaf from the... The stock leaf of a leaf from the palm, making his knife very sharp. And after that, he'll be gonna using his knife to make the wine and so forth. So you know, I've seen this process uh, twice in my life. Uh, it's a nice knife. Example. These are your tools. Yeah. Where I stay. Oh, so these are the tools, right? Yeah, so then he has some tools. some bottles, right? Yeah. So so once he taps it, it yeah. pours out into this, right? Yeah. And then he has a nice little filter. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, okay. So which tree is he gonna climb? This one, yeah. Can see oh wow, you can see it up there. Yeah. Wow. What's amazing is he literally made a ladder here. Like start climbing, right? Hey, like that. So he's cutting the flower right there. Yeah. And now it's slowly draining out, right? So my friend here. It's amazing. So he went to the top on this like ladder that he made on the palm tree. He came down with this incredible palm wine, right? You can smell it. Oh, wow. It's fermenting right now. So the better one is like a few days from now, you know, you wait three, four days, you get drunk off this. Right now it's sweet. Yeah, for this time like a juice. Like a juice, right? Yeah. From here we'll, get in, we'll go in, a, in another palm. We get coconuts, which we shall be using the coconut for making our local food today. So we, we add coconut to seafood, right? Coconut yeah, with yeah. seafood. Seafood and also the, the maize corn, we shall also cook them using the, the coconut called like... Uh, the jelly? Milk. Okay, the milk. Yeah, the milk of it. So right here the locals are making a nice fried fish, right? Very, very tiny fish. We have some ducks. This is incredible. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, so like from here, from there, then people are buying at the village and uh, they, they cook, just eat them with ugali. With ugali, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is almost like banku and, uh, and tilapia. Exactly. So if you go more in Zimbabwe, Sanza. Sanza. Can I have a taste of some fried fish? Uh, the big ones, huh? Yeah. The big ones? Yeah. She's like storing the fish in there in the fryer. <laughs> Mmm, yeah. nice and salty, good, very nice. Yeah. So you got a bite, chew, lots of little bones in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm, so chew. That's a big one? Yeah. You can do this like, you have to remove the head or like this? Everything, so like, it's a tail, uh, like you the tail. Here, they really do like fishing as their economic activity to get their daily bread. And when they take the fish, like these uh, ladies, they buy them from the fishermen. They deep really fry nice. them and, and then the, the locals fishier, are buying right? from them. So it's like one of way of uh, making her life like business. Yeah. Is it a small one? Yeah, I remember the small one now. Tiny one. He's the boss of the village. He's yeah. the boss. He has two wives. Mambo. Yeah, the he's the chief, right? Yeah, he's like the father of this homestead. Mambo. Here. He has grandchildren <laughs> and uh, <laughs> daughters and sons. Mambo, mambo. <laughs> so yeah, have his grandchildren here. Is there grandchildren? <laughs> I love it here. This is street food they're selling, right? Yeah, yeah they just pick them from the ocean. They mm -hmm. Freshly, they put them directly to the oil. And then, yeah, they add some salt. And then they package them in small packages. So that's why you separate them like that, right? Separately, then you can pick a package, a small package of 20 cents. So it's 20 cents. So for one little package, 20 cents. So he said we still have two to go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can just eat from here. Just, you can also just take it in your hands. And you can continue? We, we use this, this, this paper. I would say, mm. yeah, so that we can do so here. Yeah. So you, you just, just grab a lot. Choose, maybe you choose one. Okay. Take it like this, and then wow. you put it this. Continue eating. Just continue as a snack, yeah, right? Yeah. Kind of a snack. Nice kind snack. Of a fresh yeah. sardine. Look at that. Yeah. How beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. So in Italy, we go to places and they give you big bowls of this. Mm. A million of them, no? Mm. So salty, though. Right? It's good. 
Yeah. My first time trying seafood in Kenya. Yeah, here there's a plenty of uh, mm -hmm. seafood. Yeah. It's just a beginning. Yeah, obviously. All right, one more. And let's go get some coconuts. <laughs> it's so good. I can eat here all day. No, seriously. It is fantastic. Nice, yeah? Yeah, take a snack. That was beautiful. The whole family there, huh? Grandmother, grandfather, multiple babies, grandchildren. Love that. I'll tell you, the fish was delicious. It was salty and good. So you find people here depends on tourism. That's why you find that Mida office. Mm -hmm. Because we have many tourism who normally come here. Because that is a IBA. IBA, when you are talking about ornithology, means important birding area. And you find in Kenya, most of the birds that migrate from Europe, US, this is the first point to land in Kenya before they distribute to other locations in Kenya. <laughs> Yeah, so here is like the local, the local Mnazi, we call him Naziba. Mnaziba. Mnaziba. The, the, the palm wine in our language, we call it Mnazi. So, so here people come and get drunk? Or? Yeah. yeah, people they come here and drink. Okay. So he just climbed the tree to get some coconuts, very small coconuts. Very small. Coconut. Made it the coconut. It's good. It's small, but it's small. Coconut. It's the, it's the, this is the mature coconut. This is mature. If you shake it, it's shaker because the water shakes inside. But the immature coconut doesn't shake because it has a lot of milk or water in it. But this is the mature coconut. After we go and peel it out, we break the coconut. We, Great I eat and take the milk and make our cows in there. This is how we do it with our local spices. No need to go to the market. All right, we're going to see how they pack the palm wine into bottles, right? <sighs> wow. So here is where the guy from producing, mm -hmm. he sells it here at the market, at the bar, and now we sell to the locals. So here is how we put in the bottle. She's all recycled bottles, and when yeah. you enter here, you could smell the alcohol, the fermentation yeah. process. It's like, yeah. Oh, you can see how they ferment. Elevates. This is yesterday's wine. Yeah, so it's fermented. Now you can it's see fermenting it. fermenting now. So which one is ready? <laughs> it's ready. It depends which kind of wine you want. This one is fermented already because it's yesterday's one. So it's a bit stronger. But the one he took from the palm is yeah. sugar, it's a lot of glucose in it. I think we should try a little bit of both to see the comparison. Okay, okay. Because okay. the one's going to be very sweet, the other one you're going to feel kick, right? Yeah, so we can... Smells good, right? Yeah, it smells great. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right, here we go. So delicious. Harrison. Yes. yes David, yes. pleasure. You? Done, done. Done, done. Yeah. Perfect. You two guys, huh? Us too, man. Yeah, a pleasure. You have a lot of experiences. This is among the experiences. And also Harrison is the host of the Media Creek Nature Camp. If maybe you are on Instagram, Facebook, there we have also a lot of authentic experiences. Yes, you can learn how to cook with Giriyama, you can learn how to build your own roof. I will never be able to build my own roof. Maisha Marefu. Maisha Marefu. Long life. Long life. Lunga vita in Italian. Lunga vita. Ah, La, bono. Vida. La Bona Vita. La Bona it's delicious, vida. actually. Yeah, yeah, man. It's it's sweet, but you feel the fermentation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No additives. Alcohol. Very, very, very pure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like I was saying, like in India, the same thing in, in the state of Kerala, because mm -hmm. it's the land of coconuts. So everything is coconut, you know? Wow. So this is delicious. This is like Little India today. This is like Little, little India. I mean, oh, India is right across that ocean, yeah, right? That's what we call the... We were called like West Indies one time. Exactly. Yeah, they called us West Indies. Well, West yeah, Indies. Yeah, but we are African. They didn't know about Africa. They called us West Indies. It's amazing. Yeah. So we have West Indies and the Aboriginal mm. Indies. I'll tell you though, it's it's nice. It's it's very refreshing, mm. especially for this weather. Really I'm hot outside. Mm -hmm. Wow. I mean, you feel it. You had the whole bottle. <laughs> Sleepy time. <laughs> three bottles and then <laughs> I'm okay <laughs> with three bottles <laughs> and this is not by the day, day time eh? uh, yeah during maybe afternoons uh, after lunch uh, relaxing uh, out of work and then I'm coming here 
I know, but for us, this is breakfast. <laughs> we'll have a little bit of fish. So this is my man Tassos. So Tassos can try it. Enjoy Tassos. Anybody else want? Or I'll just say, uh, I'll top off. This is good stuff. It's great. You want? Yeah, yeah. He's drinking. Yeah. Here, my friend. Here. Tassos. Cheers, friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wow, mm. Mm. that is good stuff. It's good, yeah. It's good, yeah. I mean, it's not so alcoholic. It yeah. just ha has a little bit, right? I think yeah. this would be like a two or three percent alcohol. Well, this right? is a, like the I said yesterday and what yesterdays. Mm -hmm. But if we get like this one, you can take it tomorrow. It will be a bit. Yeah, and in a week, even yeah, worse. Wow, flammable. <laughs> I'm flammable. Yeah. <laughs> so tassels, here you go, man. Just for you, man. There you go. Here, my friend. Yeah, yeah, cheers, yeah, yeah. my friend. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, cheers. How you say? Maisha Marefu. Maisha Marefu. Maisha Marefu. Maisha Marefu. Oh, wow. I mean, it's not too strong, but like what you said, if you have like three, four cups, not three, four bottles, <laughs> you're in the sleep. But it's nice, man. It's nice. Yes, for us, you know, we are used to this. Eh? Of course, of course. And uh, yeah. We can even have four, uh, five, then you are completely... You're, you're, completely you're, you're out. <laughs> five bottles out for a week, man. Like a Viagra runs you oh, crazy. Viagra? Yeah. Natural. Yeah, right, man. This one. Yeah. So it's an aphrodisiac. Yeah. So get yourself a bottle of this, right? Yeah. Then we'll mix some water. So what is she making there? So now he's pounding the cones. After pounding the cones, then the, the husk will come out. Then we'll put at this kind of uh, weaving thing here to take the husk out. And then from there, he's taking at the two stones to grind it to come the flour. So now is the first process of making the maize flour without using the meals or the portion of the machine to produce it. First step, so it starts with the corn, the corn. you mash it, you turn it to powder. Yeah. Tassel's gonna do it? He's gonna try. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try. No, no. It's intense. <laughs> so you have to like hold the bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, if you hit the side, everything flies, right? It's amazing. Dodomera. 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 Kadomera. Kino. Then uh, super thin cones and the husk which we know not use at the flower. So you're using the wind to separate the cones and the rest. Sieving, yeah. <laughs> So what she's doing here is she's basically siphoning it, right? Slowly the wind, oh, okay. Slowly the wind takes out the excess, right? And that's just, that's just basically trash, right? It just goes out, it's okay, like this? Oh, just the wind, just the wind pushes everything, right? What if it's not a breezy day? Still a lot of that. 
So I saw this all in the market, right? This, this. I didn't know what it was for, right? But now I understand. So they use this always to make anything to do with corn, right? Ugali, other, other different dishes, right? So skilled. So skilled. <laughs> After pouring them the corns, because we put some water, they they are wet. It's not easy to grind them from that stones. So we put them a bit on the fire. They get dry. They'll be very easy to grind them over there. Now Okay, so she just put the, the corn on there for like literally one minute yeah. and she took it off because she doesn't want it to get burned, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The corns are now warm and dried, so she will start to put at the middle of the stones and pushing the stones around, grinding as the flour now comes out from the stone. We shall see it. They will be trying to separate this fine particle to the bigger particles because we want to use this slightly bigger particles for making the local rice. By hand, huh? This is incredible. I can't believe she's doing this. It's like from the this mind, is right? They need like a machine. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now here is manpower. And all that is still like not ground. The young coconut, the immature coconut, they used to take the nut using the knife. But the mature one, they don't use the knife because this is very dry. They use this kind of stick to take the husk out. And this has very little water with a very big flesh. That other has a lot of water with a very little flesh. But this one has very little of the and water. You can tell by the sound, no? By the sound, by the color, because those are, they were green. The one who was doing there, but this one now, that's why I said this one you can use for like doing Fire. firewood, doormats, mattresses. Because this is kind of fiber. You can see. Source of life. Huh? Yeah. This one you can use it many, many things. Yeah. So this is really the mature coconut. You can see the shell is so dark and the flesh is too big than the one I had. So this one will grate up using this machine. We're going to grate it. Mm -hmm. So we're just using the, the flesh for grating, right? Yeah, we use this one. <sighs> the amount of labor that it takes to make dishes here. It's like all day just preparing for food, right? That's all they do. It's incredible. You really have to appreciate what we have in the West after seeing this. Wow. It's, it takes her like a... I don't know, 20 minutes to do the corona? Baby, so cute. Everything is beautiful here. Just true nature, right? Remote style living. Yeah, so now the process will be getting coconut milk from these coconut particles. We have them here. So what we need to do, she will show us how she can add some water, squeeze these particles and get the milk from these coconut particles, which we have them right now here. That's our fine. There you go, the first one, the first. 
So that's how they're making some corn coconut milk rice, right? So right over here, they have three stones, fire. They're gonna put the pot on, it's gonna boil. We're gonna make some food. Over here we have some crab. We also have some, uh, some squid, right? Yeah. Crab and squid? Oh, it's cuttlefish. Oh, I like cuttlefish. Cleaning the crabs and the squid and the cuttlefish. Huh? Hey, get a nice guitar, shot a crown of the alumesen. Aluminum nagitraze, one, come on, Ramon. We pull the sticks. So the sticks, we put them. We will help the cuttlefish not to bend, to remain as straight as we want, like that. I'm going sick when I catch him. So, same thing for the crab, right? They call it Portunus pelagicus. That's a scientific name, right? Yeah, you know, the guys here, yeah, they are crazy. They know even the scientific names. Wow. First time I see them put crabs on a stick like this. So we're just going to grill the crab, right? That's yeah, all we're grilled, doing? Grilled, yeah, So we just put outside of the fire. We just get cooked, not having like a grill on top of the fire. Just put the sticks and that's all. So what you do here is you keep the you are, you are, you are crabs or the, the cuttlefish by the wind where it blows. So if you put it this direction, all the smoke will come to your, your, your things while you grill. That's why you put the other side because the wind is coming from the other direction. It's salt. Salt them. Okay. So now, because when he, he put this lid up with the with the charcoal, the burning charcoal, the upper surface now was very dry. So we take this part out, then we get now our food now right to be served to the table and serve it at the table. And here our cuttlefish and crabs are ready. So we took a, like a 30 minute nap in the car while we were waiting for the food. But I'm, I'm ready for this food. I'm excited. I was out. You ready? I was out. Dead. Spear, you can use like a catching net. But most of here they use spearing. Whoa. Well, all right, guys, we are finally ready to eat our bush feast. Yeah. Right? There you go. I mean, it looks amazing. Mm. Nice and like, grainy. Mmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do I eat like this? Mm -hmm. Beautiful food. Mmm. Yeah, it's really man. cute. It's so tasty. Coconut throughout. Yeah, yeah it's super energetic. <laughs> but this one, it this feels like rice. Jugalier. Like you said, yeah, turns into rice. Mmm. Yeah. Look at this. It's incredible. So the tastiest corn I've ever had. Coconut. Never had something like this. Yeah. Next up, we have cassava that's been cooked with coconut uh, milk as well, right? Yeah, coconut yeah. milk. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Forget roasted cassava. This, this is one. better. <laughs> Coconut is part of life here, completely, right? Everything is coconut. Mm. Wow, mm, this is like a, it's nice, but it's bitter, right? Like a strong yeah, green. And, yeah. So you mix it like this, right? To a ball. I would even put like a little bit of cuttlefish in here. You got everything from earth, right? Yeah, earth and sea, right here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. The first off, like this. Yeah. Mm hmm. Well, wow. I'm so used to eating crabs. Oh, good. Oh, this is amazing. 
And this has nothing. It's like it's like just crab that's been roasted. That's it. Yeah. Natural, no spices added. Nothing. Uh, oh, sante, sante. Mm-hmm. This is so good. So I get in here and break off these cavities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy crab to eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think they're too small to bite into, right? Nothing really in there. If you pull it off, like you want to get the meat, you got to go in here, right? Just go in there. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's so good. Navu na 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 mchichi. Don't don't call it. Better not have to write. You like to. I know French. I learned it from a woman one time. Je t'aime. That's it. Merci beaucoup. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, thank you so much. This has been a treat. The whole experience today was epic. I mean, starting off here, seeing how they pull the palm wine, seeing how they you know fry some fish. And we came over here and saw the whole process of all this. I mean, it was a total experience. Everybody's so friendly. The yeah. food's amazing. My friend, Mida Creek, it epic, epic. Mida Creek, epic. Epic. So if you're ever in Mombasa, only a three hour drive up here, usually two hours, then we have a little bit of traffic. But definitely worth it. Come out here, enjoy, you know, walk around the beach if you want, because there's a beach over there, right? Yeah. They also have souvenirs and then you can come here and experience local life. Right now I'm about three hours north of Mombasa. I'm headed to Pirates Beach and on the way we saw this huge market so we decided to stop and see what we can find here, right? We're looking for some street food. Hopefully we find some, but if not, it's all good. We're gonna interact with some people. Let's be careful here. This is the African way, dude. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's slow in here. Where's Eric? Mambo, Mambo. Mambo. All right, it's, it's amazing. All right, so here we have, a, I guess it's like a mix of secondhand clothing, right? So we have so many vendors, lots of people. They have clothes, jeans, I mean, things for kids, adults. I don't really see that much street food, but it's just a never ending market, right? I mean, this is like real, raw, authentic experience here. Unfortunately, um, you know, I don't want to be in anybody's way here, but Oh, you know what? There is some street food. Oh, come over here. Come over here. Let's see this. Sambosa. Sambosa, yes. Sambosa. Can I have sambosa? Yes, sambosa. Can I eat? I'm hungry. So over here we have sambosa. So that is like a samosa, right? So we have two different styles here. This is like a nice doy one. It's crispy. And this is potatoes. Five shilling. So give me four. So which is this one? Which one is this one? It's called mitai. Mitahi. Ah, mitahi. Yeah. So let's get some sambosa, mitai, and let's try one of these, no? This is biazi. Biazi, yes, is potato. Biazi is potato, right? Yeah. I I'm learning Swahili now. This is incredible, guys. There's so many people here, right? So she's gonna use her, uh, some plastic gloves. This is amazing. This is what we wanted to see today. Oh, we'll try, we'll try it. It's land, it's no, it's okay. It's in Kenya, we call it pojo. 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 Mm. Pojo. Very recent. Very recent. Oh, Pili -pili. yeah. Pilipili. Pilipili. Mm. What is Pili -pili. that? Pilipili. Pili -pili. Spice? Pilipili. What is that? Pepper. Pepper. Yeah? Just it. Lemon plus, uh, mm. plus tamarind. You see? Yeah. It's a little sweet and spicy. This is a lemon plus tamarind. Mmm. It's almost like a vinaigrette. Tasso is hungry? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> now, this is Viazi. You see now, this Viazi, you do like this. You put this. Tamarind. Tamarind plus onion. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. Very chunky. Very nice. And this is Mitai. This is Mitai. Yeah. Nothing, oh, just nothing. Just, just nothing. The sugar and milk flour? Mmm. Mm. Nice. Very nice. It's like sweet dough. Very mm -hmm. nice. And over there we have something else, right? Let's just see. What's in over here? Okay. Fish? Oh, wow. Sandisana. Sandisana. Wow, look at this. Incredible. So, what type of fish is this? I don't even know. It looks like a mini barracuda. They chop it up into small pieces. Throw it here, super thin tawa, three stones. So what type of fish is this, do you know? This is called the una. All right, so I'm helping her out. 
All the fish is almost ready. So she told me to just grab a piece. Is this hot? Oh. Oh. Una. Una. Una, una. Yeah, fresh, yeah. From the lake? From the mm. lake, yeah. Mm. You know what? Mm. It's good stuff. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. A little salty. Tuna. The tuna? Yeah. Una, una, una. Una. I don't know what una is, but it's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, the smoke, though. I'm gonna do it. Oh. This one is ready. This one. Oh. Fire. Oh, this is so hot, guys. So she's here all day. This one's ready too. Woo! The flame. I'm I'm burning. I'm like on fire here. Are they all ready? What happened? Not ready? Okay, okay. So get more? Until they they become brown like this. Okay, okay, got it, got it. No, I couldn't see it. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best here. I'm not a chef. It's really nice though. It's a nice salty lake fish. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Asante sana. Asante sana. Yeah, I'm a muzungu. I'm a straight foreigner here. That, that doesn't have no cooking skills. I mean, what's crazy is how, how much, look at this. It's like never ending sandals, right? It's just intense, huh? A lot of people. Tons of people. So, I mean, basically, this is just like a, is this a secondhand market? Second hand? Yeah, yeah, most so almost it's everything second hand. Everything second hand here. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. So basically the same thing, so we're seeing almost the same thing everywhere, right? Yeah. You got sandals, like this is, is, hello sir, how are you doing? Very good? Oh, amazing, amazing. I love I love the at the office. So this is the tribe, Masa tribe, right? <laughs> he doesn't want to let go, he doesn't want to let go. So these are all sandals, right? Do they make them or this is just like factory made sandals here? They make them. That's why in Kenya we always refer them as Maasai sandals. Maasai sandals, yeah. huh? Yeah. How much are these sandals? Yeah. Can't take them off. Oh, they're made from tire. Now this one costs six dollars. Six US dollars? Yeah. It's nice. It's a cool sandal. Let's see, is that is that my size? I guess I could try. I have to take this off. Let me try this on. So Maasai sandal right there, fits pretty good. So six, what is six, like 700? I'll take a pair. Yeah, yeah, that's for me, I'll take it. Yeah. Okay, so let me pay him. I didn't know that they had their own sandals, like they, they literally make them themselves. Mietato, mietato, mietato. Got it, got it, perfect. You tell him, Ashe Oleng. Ashe Oleng. Ashe Oleng. Ashe Oleng. Ashe Nali. Ashe Nali. All right, all right, amazing. That means yeah. Asante. Yeah. Masai. Look at his sandals. Yeah. All weather. Wow. It's only in Kenya, only Masai. They are the most people who have maintained their culture. And only in Kenya you'll see Masai with sword or a certain... Got it, got it, because yeah, he has a sword, right? to carry, that's a weapon. I will be coach. But for the Masai, it's free. So for them it's yeah, okay? Yeah. Because they're, their it's culture, part of their culture? It's part of... It has been embraced all over Kenya. It's amazing. Yeah. So love any it, Maasai, real Maasai, will always have a sword. Can you see? So I, I have to ask a question. So I've noticed both Maasais are like branded on their face. Yeah. So that's how they know. Just like when you reach a certain age. So it's... it's yeah. So that's the right to passage. Yeah. They get a, a branding on their face. Exactly. It's part of Maasai, right? Fantastic, my friend. Ashe Oleng. Baboa. What do you have here? Oh wow, popsicles. Nice. Oh, is this strawberry? Mm. Oh, refreshing. Yeah, strawberry popsicle. It's amazing. It's right here. How much uh, for this one? Shinkumi. Shinkumi. Ten. Ten shillings. Ten bob. Very nice. Yeah. It was on, oh, brain freeze. Tamu. Tamu means sweet. Tamu means sweet. This area is called Watamu. 
As I told you, we have many Italians in this place. And Italians like clubbing and all that. So they brought that vibe in this area. So people normally say Watamu ni tamu. Watamu ni tamu. Akuna Matara. It's good stuff guys, look at this. In this heat, you need it. Mm. I'll be honest, I'm a little worried. I don't know where the water came from, but it's okay. For 10 shillings, definitely worth it. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Eric, where are we going next? Mm -hmm. Let's try and see what we can see. Let's go, let's go. It's really amazing. It's like non stop. It really is just a huge sprawl of market. Massive market. It's a little intense. Everybody's like, what are these guys doing here? What do they call us over here? The foreigners? Muzungu. Muzungu. That's what we're called. Muzungu. We're Muzungus. White, white man. <laughs> white man. All right, guys, we have to run to the beach. Pirate Beach, right? All right, so we stopped like half an hour out um, from where we just were because we saw there's another market and there's a lot of street food here. So we'll see what we find. Ready, Eric? Let's go. We have this university, Kwani University of Mombasa. Oh yeah? The only university you'll find in Kilifi County. And that's why you see many people here because this is the center stage. People with border border waiting for the students from the university to take them to their destinations. All right, let's keep walking, see if we can find some food. I mean, I'm seeing some roasted corn, seeing a lot of like vegetable vendors, lots of motorcycle guys, but at least everybody's super friendly, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With maize corn before they make uh, like maize corn. It helps, her, it helps her to just like don't like engage a lot of effort, a lot of yes things when she's making a lot of uh, bread, you know? Okay, those are a type of the small cakes that are made like street cakes. Sweet cakes. Street cakes, like they make them on the street, but they are dry. They make them very strong and dry. Okay. They are made from wheat. Okay. Fresh, fresh cake. Let's say they are fresh cake, but they are like they, they. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does it? How does it taste? A little sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice they and frothy. Some, some, some sugar and wheat. Put in the oil. They just grill and put here for just ready to eat. I mean, it's great with like some chai. Some coffee. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. So with this, people can grab and drink with the. Uh, I mean, it's with coffee. It's like kind of a, like a um, small bread, like bread. Yeah. yeah. Like it's like a biscuit, right? Yeah, yeah. Very similar. Actually, more like a like one of these like muffins, right? Yeah. Most of the places they call them uh, mandazi, but here it's. Cakes, they say cakes. Yeah. Cakes, yeah. not mandazi, right? And it's, it's really hot right now. Lots of people non-stop. Again, he said the university is there. So you have all these motorcycles everywhere because that's like the transport, right? The, the taxi drivers here, right? So look, these are the sweet cakes. You see, it's like a mountain of sweet cakes. She has non-stop sweet cakes. She has French fries. She has fried chicken. She has potatoes. And then more chicken, right? But that's basically what we find here on this strip. So I think we're okay here. How, how much did it cost for this one? How much for one? 10 cents, not a bad deal. I mean, with two of these, with some chai, and you're full. Oh, shade. Kangumon. Kangumon means hard in Spain. Oh, this is nice. And you know, most of the students, they don't cook in their hostels. So yeah, they, they depend on these They use oh, them yeah. like, oh, take like away coffee break. Yeah. When the students are going to the coffee break, you just take this and the coffee, so we they have the day still there. Exactly. All right, so that's it for this area. We had a little bread, saw some street food being made, but we'll continue, see if we find anything else on the way to Mombasa, because the sun is setting. I don't know if we'll make it to Pirates Beach. It says it's a good hour drive. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully. All right, let's go, Tassos. Let's go. I mean, I'm guessing it's a cool spot. So we're making our way down to Mombasa, and as you can see, it's like a beautiful forest, and over here, we're seeing a lot of baobab trees. So it's indigenous to Australia, Madagascar and Africa. Huge trees, very beautiful. What do you think? I think this is epic. I feel like I'm in, um, watching Lion King in real life, you know? It's my first time in like real Africa, you know, after Morocco. 
So for me, like everything is an experience. I'm like a little kid. I'm like, oh, look at that tree, look at that tree, you know? Super awesome. Chicken all around. Some bananas, some like the fish you had in the market. So many things. Like there, there's many, many people with motorcycles here, huh? Have you noticed? I should buy a motorcycle. All right, so after about a three hour drive, we're back in Mombasa. Unfortunately, we didn't see anything on the way. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop for some food, maybe some shawarma. What do you think? I mean, I can't wait. Shawarma is always a winner, bro. Always. Shawarma everywhere. Let's go, Eric. Oh, there we go. So we were on the street yesterday, but today we're going to Damascus shawarma. That's the oldest shawarma in town. I don't know uh, how old it is, but it's the oldest. So we have to try it, right? Mambo. Uh, Best shawarma in town. That's what we hear. Number the, one. The oldest, Mombasa, right? Yeah. The oldest. The whole Mombasa, this is shawarma number one. Number one. So Damascus shawarma. Damascus. So we're gonna get four? Hungry, hungry, hungry? Everybody hungry. You want chili or without chili? Chili. One, one for me. For yeah. me. Okay. You? One with chili, one with chili, three with no chili. So what is that? Uh, garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. Yeah. Then some lettuce? Tomato sauce. Yeah, man. Of course. Everything. I put chili in this too. I wanna go yeah, perfect. It's really hard. Damascus or Aleppo? Yeah, Damascus. Ah, uh, Chokran. So the first, this is the first place, right? In Mombasa. So who started it? My father started it. In what year? Uh, it was 2010. Mulianza 2010, did it? 2010? 2011. 2011. Yeah, 20, since 20. Oh, okay, okay, awesome. So your father. So of course, the massive shawarma, they're from Syria. Amazing, man. Yep. We're gonna go one day soon, one day. Inshallah, yep, Inshallah, Inshallah. Yep. Can't wait to try this, guys. Nice and creamy. Oh, I love it. So he mixes a, a few things in there, right? I think it's like mayo, tomato sauce, chicken, lettuce, and chili. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh. It's good. Chili though. How's yours? Nice. Mm -hmm. So you don't have chili, right? No chili for you? Not a spicy guy? I love the pita. Mm, it's like creamy. It's a little smoky too. Some of the best shawarmas I've had on earth right here in the city. So different. Mm. Oh yeah. Look at that. Guys, it's like mouth watering. Mm. Come here, the mouth is warm up. What's the cost of this? 200. 200? Yeah. It's not bad. It's like two US dollars, a little less. Mm. Less. Two. Man, I might have another one. Wow. Okay, no problem. Wow, so good. So good. Thank you. That was delicious. I actually had two of them because it was so good. But now we're going to go to my apartment right here. But on the way is a really old ice cream shop handmade ice cream. What's up guys? Thanks guys. Right here, look, ice cream. Azad ice cream. My friend, I told you I was coming back. So question, how old is the ice cream shop? 50 years. 50 years, correct, 50 years. Sorry, what's your name, sir? Ghulam Hussein Murtaza. Ghulam Hussein Murtaza. Murtaza, yeah. perfect. So what do you recommend? I want one ice cream. No problem, which one you want? Uh, what's a good flavor? M Mombasa flavor. Oh, they are selected flavor. Chocolate chip, strawberry, almond, butterscotch, pistachio. Oh, they have faluda too? They have faluda? Oh, I know. Faluda is the best, but I want an ice cream, no? You know, put it inside? I'll go with faluda. Yeah, why not? It's like India again for me. Vanilla mix? Do it. Strawberry vanilla mix. Perfect, perfect. Number one? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. In all Kenya, can I try something? Can I try something? I'll have the fuller, but I just want to try one thing. Maybe this one. This one looks good, man. But just a little bit, right? Oh, but this is like, usually in America, they give you a tiny bit. This is like a big one. Wow. Super yummy. So yummy. It's like blown out, right? It looks really good. 
How much is one like this? One ninety. It's a big ice cream. Yes, here we go, Faluda. And the way you start the Faluda off is you go in with the straw, right? That's the best. Mm. Best from the Thank you. He's from Canada. From Canada. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> he's the one, he's like, you have to have the Faluda. Yeah. You have to try the sugar candy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have like salmonella noodles in here? Mm hmm. It's amazing. They have a big Indian influence here, right? Maybe the best is this after a long day meal. Yeah, right? Yeah. So what are you having? I'm having uh, this is vanilla, chocolate chip, yeah, some peanuts. Nice. That's that's a good dessert. dessert. Mm -hmm. After ten courses meal from the morning eating. <laughs> are you all day, man? Come on. I'm okay, man. Oh, I'm full now. Oh, so refreshing in this hot weather. 10 in the morning and we're stopping here at a local restaurant to see how they make a very special dish. It's goat head stew. All right, so this restaurant's called Manyata Greenland Bar and Restaurant. And they have Nayama Shoma, which is like the national dish of the country. My man, Sam, how you doing? Good, man, how are you? I'm ready to go, man. Good to see you. So again, like I said, it's graphic, right? Yes, sir. Hello, Mambo Mambo, everything okay? So this is sort of how it works with Nayama Choma. So we always have goat, and they also have lamb and some beef. Over here we have ribs, lots of ribs. The guy just comes here and starts chopping. We have organs, intestines. I mean, of course, this is real life, guys. This is how it is here, right? This is, is this goat or lamb? Goat? So everything's goat, right? Everything's goat today? You're gonna eat that raw. Here we are. So we have, uh, this is intestines of the stomach, the part of the stomach, part of it. This one is really good. Raw. Yeah. Can you see? Sam, you're wild. It's good? It's good. So should I eat raw stomach right now? Yeah, you should. Where's I should. Dish? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to eat raw stomach. Am I be okay? You will be okay. Okay, Sam. Wow. What do you think? I keep doing. That was wild. I'll take Pepto Bismol now. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. All right, let's go, let's go. Want to see the hubs where they normally collect them and then they uh, prepare the, the soup. We call it soup. So it's from the head of the goat and people can be able to eat it. So here, everything is natural. Like they just pick them from their farm or how do we visit this small forest here and then they go and boil them and on their side so we're going to show you around where all these trees they collect them here starting from even this one here I'm sure you can see so this is one of the trees they also boil them uh, together soup is a concentration of so many herbs so different kind of uh, trees it's almost like cotton dude it smells good my serve Oh, let's eat that soup soon. So this is called Ras Natalensis. It's very good for your joints, even if they're knees, even if on the side. I remember when I was growing up, we used to use this one to brush our teeth. And this is how we do it. So you remove that and then you just remove it back like this. And then you can start chewing it. Okay. So when you get something like this, you can start brushing your teeth with it. Brushing your teeth? Yeah. You go like that, so you break it, right? You break it. There's some stuff like this. Let me see mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you gotta like, open it up. And then it gives you like a nice, nice fragrance, right? Yep. So your teeth, like your breath doesn't smell bad. <clears throat> so naturally here, people, they don't get those tooth eggs and all those things. They don't even get gums and those things. The reason being is because of trees like this ones. Mm. So they start brushing the teeth at young age, after the whole age. You can even find an old man of more than 100 years having all the 32 teeth. All 32 teeth? Yes. And including even the wisdom teeth. Nice. So now I have good breath? Hopefully, right? Hopefully. Hopefully. I had a lot of coffee this morning. Yeah. So what else we got here? Some more herbs, yeah. right? So this is the back of the restaurant, right? So we have small sections like that where you can eat in there with some covering. And you have sections like this one where it's almost like you're out in the wilderness. So a few different ones, all with different plants, lots of herbs. It smells amazing here. 
A little bit of burning, right? Because they're burning stuff on the side. What's over here? Trash. That's trash. This is burning over there. Yeah. And then over here? We have more. Just more herbs. This is a tree. It's actually one of the herbs, but specifically people eat the, the fruits. The fruits is really good for back egg problems. It will help you really, really good to, to cure him with a very short time. And they mostly use it when they are eating uh, the nyama choma. And also when they are boiling meat, they also put uh, the leaves. But when the season of the fruits are there, they also prefer feeding on this uh, fruit. So I'll try to feed on them just now. Mm, yeah. Good. Mm, it's really good. I just go like this, get a bunch of seeds or little fruits. Yeah. So you don't swallow this? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Just suck. Yeah. Not that much flesh. It's a very big seed inside compared to the size, right? Very tiny. So we continue back. Here we got the butcher and he's cutting all different organs right now. And then right here in front where our car is, Right in front, we can see the go heads too. So you have two different pots here, okay? You have the one with the stew, the, with, the, with the head, and then this one is the one with the herbs. The herbs. So they mix them. Yeah, so we're gonna see this one here. Do you see? It's a lot of uh, meat there. And you want me to select one? Yeah, select one. This one's ready. Yeah. This iron bar is on fire, guys. Yeah, so you remove it and then you put it here. It's like we have a meal, yeah. right? So that is a meal. Yeah, there's a meal for six of us, maybe seven. Yeah. Tongue, jaw, yes. brain is cut in half. Oh, it's removed completely. You be the man, so you take it with you. Yeah. Look at this. You Intense. I've never seen this before. We do it like this. We mix the soup first, then we, we fetch, put it in the container. It's a big container. So right now she's collecting the soup and this is super healthy for you. This will cure a hangover 100%. So now they're going to the herbs. You take a little of it, mix it. Wow, it's like super green, huh? Yes, I know. So three cups of soup, three cups of soup, one cup of herb. Three cups of soup, one cup of herb. Yeah. So that's the mix. Yes. So now they're going to siphon it. Should I start fast? Maybe? Yes, so I'm going to test first and then you'll take it. What do you think? It's good? It is good. Very but good. this one you normally take after Cheers. eating the head. So after eating the head you usually yes. do it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so strong, man. It's really, really strong. You can feel the herbs. You can even feel it in your nostrils, the herbs. Yeah, okay guys, so I'm gonna try it now. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's very nice. Oh gosh. It's actually fantastic. This is amazing. This will wake me up, bro. This will cure every illness, right? Exactly, everything. Oh. So delicious. You can feel it in your stomach. I had no idea it was going to taste like this. Yeah, okay. You can take two or three cups. No problem. Two or three cups? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, man. That's probably the best thing I've had on this trip, bro. <laughs> so delicious. The soup is amazing. But pe so we normally sell a cup of soup for five dollars. Five dollars? Yes, because it has some medicine. Because of the medicine. Wow. Yes. <clears throat> Super tasty. Now I'm more excited for the go ahead. After this, so we're supposed to actually have this after, after eating, yes. right? But we're trying it now. Then of course. we do it again later, a little bit more. Oh, wow. So hey man, this is a surprise. So we can walk over there, see whether, if the head is ready. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we can, we let's can go. It's a dark room in here. That's the bar. Yes. Whoa, and this is like smoky. Ooh, lots of smoke in here. Oof, oof, careful here. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, yes. Yes, this looks yeah, so like good. Chili. Oh, chili, huh? Yeah. But this one looks, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the, first, the chili I'll try. Wow. Oh, you can smell the heat. I'm eating that salad once I have some meat in my stomach, right? Yeah. All right, and he put what, salt on the side? That's salt? Yes. So he's cutting the tongue in half. He's breaking the jaw. So he's taking off the cheeks, the skin. 
Lots of meat there, huh? That meat. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he's just cracking that skull. Oh, the eyeball. Did it cut the eyeball in half? Okay. Never seen this before. Wow, hello. So I think first things first, let's start with the high. Eye. So this is a piece of the high. You see it's fatty. You need to put some salt, it's up to you. We got, of course, salt on top. A little bit of salt, then we get to go. Let's do it. Especially delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super soft, almost like jello, right? And just swallow it. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not the actual eyeball, it's the ice socket, right? The ice socket, yes. Mm. Yeah. Good. So next thing we do oh. is we're going to have a test. This is a tongue. This is the tongue. Okay. So that's how we do it. So we share the tongue. Sorry. I okay, no problem, no problem. And two, so pick the one you want. I'll tell you, I love tongue. All right. I actually think it's a very delicious organ. Yeah. Again, if you guys know me, you know I love organs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, a bit rough. Yeah. But it's still a little juicy too because it's been in that. Um, sure. Wow. Okay, so ugali. Ugali. So, so the second thing, the third thing we do is the skin part of it. So you can have this. I think I will have maybe something like this. So this is the skin yeah. of the head. This is what he took off all the, the hair, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So good. Well, well mm -hmm. done. Everything is good. It actually reminds me of the textures of a uh, stomach a yes, little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. a little bit from far. Yeah, yeah. But still good, man. I it's mean, good. it's very good. I'll tell you, everything's good here. I mean, it's, it's fresh. Everything is fresh. It was killed today. Boiled right in front Boiled of us. Boiled right in front of us, and then now we're having it. So what else do we have here? Just different uh, pieces? So some pieces of meat, yeah. Some chunks, some pieces of meat. So what is that? Anything that is interesting anymore. The tongue. Let's yeah, we have more tongue. tongue. Oh, you need more tongue, yeah. Right. I love it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, dip a little bit of salt. It's too much, man. No, too much. Mmm. So good. I like salty food. Second thing now, mm -hmm. go for the managu. The greens. greens. So oh, I love greens. You definitely will love this managu. So just like this, right? Yeah. You, you need to do how that we do it with the ugali. Yeah, yeah, of course. Take managu, take ugali, and then take some pieces. So like that, and then you go over here yeah. to the ugali, and you just grab the corner, yeah. and you turn it into a ball, right? Yes. I'm not to get too much, because then I have a huge bite. You swallowed a whole egg, so you should swallow that too. And then you go over here and just grab anything. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Amazing mix. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. So good. Mm. Kachumbari. So Kachumbari? Yes. Okay, so guys, this is Kachumbari. Tomatoes, onions, and but they added chili on chili. this one. Chili, yeah. So after this, I'm gonna have to wash my hands because you can't touch your face. Yeah. Just like that. Hope it's not too hot. No, it won't be too hot. The hottest chili of my life was in the... Mombasa. Marakiti, Marakiti market. Marakiti in Mombasa. Oh yeah, that is definitely hot. Mm -hmm. Is it hot? Mm -hmm. I'm going there too. So I have this one. Super hot chilies, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, as soon as I feel they're here, now I know it's hot. Are oh, you mixing everything? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I get like this, get the ugali, put it in your hand, make it into a ball. Yeah. Then you go over here. Take some greens. The managu. Managu. Yes. Now it's supposed like spinach, right? Yeah. Basically. Then we go over here. Take a piece of... Uh, Take a piece of this, okay. and then so after that, some, just some go in here and just grab right some of this. Just scrub some. some. Alright. That's a lot of silly. Are we good? We're good. Look at this. Look at this. What a mixer. Yeah. I feel like this is going to be a hot one. Mm. Spicy bite. Oh, but it's so good. <clears throat> it's like a mix between, you know, super soft, bland ugali with all these nice herbs. Yes. With this meatiness, organs with spice. Mhm. Mm oh man, this is good. I'm gonna do it like oh, this. Good. I'm gonna do it like this to get a better, better grip on it. Oh, oh it's hot. Ah, you know. This is good. Mhm. Mm 
is very, very hot. I mean, that's chili, man. So you do it like that, right? Just pick it up, mix it all in your hand. That's why we wash our hands, right? Yes. This is the way they eat here. Look for any organ you want. Any organ? A bit. You know what? Let me go in here and pull out. Dig something there? Yeah, look, look in here. This is like the cheek. This is the cheek, guys. So I go in here and pull out some of that meat. Right there, just put it in here and mix it. This is, this is like sort of how I felt in Ghana when I was eating giant forest snails wow. mixed with forest food. nails. Forest snails, snails. yeah, wow. like half the size of this plate. We're good. We're good. Woo, I feel the heat. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love it. I mean, it's spicy, but at the same time, it's a nice balance. You know, and this very irony, right? Because the organs. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll show you. You know, it's part of the job, part of the face. You have to go in and like try to get some of the fat, stuff like that, and just eat, right? Purely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get in here. There's a lot of meat in there. Mm-hmm. Oh man, it's like super charred. Nice and smoky. I don't know what that was, but it was crispy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, guys, that is our meal. It's herbal, it's exotic, it is good for you. And then after that, we came here and we tried this. Kachumbari, managu, and now the goat head. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. So right now we're gonna walk around, we're gonna see what food we try. Uh, I'm sure we're gonna find the amazing egg which we tried in Nairobi. Maybe some sausages, maybe some chai. I have no idea. You guys ready? Ready. Obed? Yes, please. Sam? Long day. Long day? <laughs> we're ready to go? We just drove here. It took us three hours to get here. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Chapati na dengu. Dengu, eh? Dengu. Dengu sini some boga and boga boga. Oh, so she has beans. This is her right here? Green beans and chapati. More street food, guys. Street food everywhere here. It's like a, like a stall. I think like every 20 feet. Green beans, eh? They, they get boiled first. And this, they, they boil them on charcoal, huh? Yeah, like boil them like from the, 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 the stove. And then after that, they will, um, they will stew them. And that's when they eat with chapati. One of the easy dish of Kenya is this. Easy. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm, nice and hot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, the flavor will give you a bit. There's a split piece. There's a split here. There's a split here. Chili. Oh, she has chili. You know, this reminds me of the the, the fish oil with chili from Thailand. So you get some of this and just drop it on top. Nice. It's gonna be super spicy. All right. Mm-hmm. Or spicy mm-hmm. because the avocado has its own protection. This uh, this is the, the protector of the avocado. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you do not need to put on a plate. You just take it and just do it. Yeah. And then you have a piece of it. Mm-hmm. Put here. That's good. Yeah. Then Super tropical. Here. Let's drop it on it. I won't lie. It's spicy, but I love spice. So let's do this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, it's like creamy. Mm-hmm. Easy meal, huh? Simple and easy. Nice healthy meal. Yeah, how much does this cost? Probably like one dollar, right? Yeah, this is less than one dollar. Fifty cents, something like that. Well, this is so enjoyable. I love this. This is a nameless restaurant. There's no name for this restaurant. Of course. People come in, they know the address, no need for brand. People will come just and eat. Just drop some of these, yeah. I love chilies. Okay. Just keep dropping more, right? Oh, some chai over here? Chai. So this is called African tea, so it's a mix of raw milk and chai. And tea. Chai, tea, yeah. Chai, basically, it's, uh, it's common in chai, you know? Yeah, they even put some sugar for you. Oh, they did? Well, they didn't give me any. <laughs> so what happened to me? Chai. I didn't get any? Pay chai, eh? And what is she doing there? She's doing some peas? Yes, we are making peas. Awesome. So they're taking apart the peas, yeah. pulling them all out, and then from there it's going to go to boil, right? Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Hey guys, it's in Nakuru. Yeah. Super happy to be here. First meal in Nakuru. Mm-hmm. Nice. 
Look, try. Yeah. It's a food of uh, voyageur. You know the voyageur? The voyageur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the explorer, right? Yeah. <laughs> Like a very dry chapati, yeah. some mm -hmm. beans and some tea. Yeah, that that's makes a perfect meal for a voyager, you know? That's what I was going to say, that chapati is very, very dry, not oily at all. I guess they, they dried it out. Wow. She made like extra sweet though. Lots of sugar. Too much sugar. Chai, chai, chai. Well, should we go find another place? Because, I mean, it's getting late. It's already like 5 p.m. We got here super late, long drive. But I'm ready. So this particular uh, kit has a wheel. This that means it's a mobile, it's a mobile snack restaurant. When they want to go to the crowd places, they will just push it, and they can make on the way for whoever wants. So that's what she's doing now. Kachumbad. The famous kachumbad. This with pepper. This without pepper. Yeah. And it's tomato and onion. Yeah, and pepper. Here you go. This one, so like you ate it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is a boiled egg. I mean, it's a kind of a like a, I would say a, a boiled egg, but very special one because they put the salad inside, and this makes it more special. You know, it gives like a different flavor, and it's not just only like a boiled egg. You know, it's a very perfect snack that you can take for like on the way if you are starving and working hard. Mmm. Oh, it's amazing. Harbour egg, super refreshing tomato salad, but I love, love the chili. Yeah. It's like falling apart, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the onions like this and that. <laughs> oh, okay. We don't eat any food. So she also has a uh, hot dog, so they do the same thing, right? They cut the hot dog in half and fill it up with kach kachumbara, right? Kachumbari. Kachumbari, kachumbari, nice tomato salad. The famous tomato salad in here. What up? Ready? All right, so I jump on here. Yeah, you're on there with, with Sam. Kuna Matata. Here we go. Asante sana, asante sana. Oh man. It's been a minute since I've done a motorcycle tour. Two people and one. Two. Yeah, I know. It's, it's three of us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Nakuru. 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 Oh my gosh. You know, got here late, but we're making the most of the day, right? Yeah, today we're ending the day in the style, yeah? In style, for <laughs> sure. This is epic, epic. Woo! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. We're literally on the wrong side of the road here, but we're on the sidewalk. It's like where everybody's walking and we're on the sidewalk. So crazy, eh? This is why Kenya is amazing. <laughs> this is awesome. Is that it? Buy goods? That was an experience. Wow. Oh. oh. My butt hurts. That's why I stopped riding motorcycles. Look at these beautiful ladies. Amazing. You guys good? Nakuru. Yes, yes. What are we doing here? Oh, we are cooking. We have different varieties of food. We have kuku and ugali. That is in our language, we call it ugali. And then we have chapatis and kuku. And then we have chapati and beef again. And we have some vegetables. You can take cabbages and vegetables. Any you can do. Perfect. Yeah. And if you guys don't know what kuku is, that is chicken. Yeah. Yes, chicken. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Kuku? Kuku is chicken. Ugali? Yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yeah, you're ready? I'm ready. No chicken. Oh, wow, look at that rosy chicken. <laughs> The oh, chicken's from right here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, she's gonna open that up. <laughs> Woo! Hey, man. We have a chicken, man. We're in a slaughter right now? Oh my gosh. How much is it? This one is 12. 1,200. It's $10. $10? Yes. So, we got slaughtered? Yes, sir. It's a beautiful animal, though. Yes, very so again, this is a rooster. Yeah. This is daddy. He's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So we go in here? Yeah, we are so, going to get in here. See the procedure, how the chicken is being slaughtered and the way we are partitioning it. Is that okay with you? So, I, I guess we're going to see it being slaughtered, I guess. Let me see. 
Is that what we're doing? I think it's already been slaughtered. They already have a few that are slaughtered in there. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, it's hot. And be very careful. Now we are going to slaughter this one so that it's, we can remove the intestines inside so that it can be ready on the superior. That is the procedure now. We start with the legs. We are cutting off the legs first. And then the wings. Okay, so cutting the legs, now the wings. After finishing the wings, and then we slice the legs. The now the legs. Wow. She's removing the intestines, the, the, the stomach of the chicken. Of course. Food. Wow. Yeah. 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 No, it's the neck. <laughs> so yeah, so she's just taking it apart, right? Taking yeah. all the intestines yeah. out, taking all the organs out. Yeah. It's already been cooked, right? Yeah. So it's done. So basically. Yeah, it's Oh, After removing every, everything, instant, in instant, that is the time you are going to put it on the sufuria, the pan, uh, now to be ready to be cooked. Everything now is off. Just took everything out. Yeah. The rakish skin. This is a breast. The chicken breast. Chicken breast, of course. Yeah. This one. This is what they are saying here. It's a traditional chicken, very indigenous chicken. Uh, let's say, indigenous chicken are different to those that are processed through the industries. So that's what we're going to have. Let's go inside, guys. Let's eat. Okay, okay, we go inside. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Thank you. So this is the rooster? That's sumac. That's sumac. I think it's called sumac. have the one which is from there. Mm. We'll do this nice chili powder, right? So we want to do some of this, but you know what? I also brought a surprise today. I did bring a surprise. <laughs> What's my surprise? If it can get out of my pocket, it's David's been here hot sauce. <laughs> right here, let's go, let's do it. Wow. This is the hotter one, this is the hotter one. Okay, so we're having rooster, guys. Meat is very strong, you know? It's not soft as the, 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 the regular chicken. Yeah, this is a little gamier, right? Right, it's not as soft. Mm hmm. Cut it in half. Take out the bone. Yeah. Not that much meat, right? Just like one piece of meat right here. Yeah. So, like right that. And then what I'll do is I'll just get some of the, the spice, a little chili. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, nice chili inside. Oh. No hot. No, I like the rooster. I mean, it's a, it's a different type of taste. It's better chicken. Mm -hmm. And you just gotta go in here and break, huh? Like here, like break like that. So you can take that off, and that's it. That's all the meat. So yeah, let the it... chicken, they, basically, they 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 hike a lot, you know. Mm -hmm. They they hunt them before before, before slaughtering them. They hunt them before slaughtering them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I get the get the ugali. Same thing every day, guys. Ugali. It is a staple of the country. So, like that, get some greens. And then from there, straight to the rooster. Just like that. And then I'll just like. So, let's get some more spice. That's a lot. Mm. Mm. Not so much. How is it? Mm -hmm. Cheese is better. Fresh chili. Oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to it, right? Good food. I think we're gonna come back here tomorrow and have breakfast. They're open 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. I love the greens. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a very dark green. When you spinach, but I don't think it's spinach. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna have my sauce. It's my brand with another company. And then I'm gonna just, I get the ugali. I'm gonna just like put a little bit of my hot sauce on it. Some nice heat. You want some? Enough, enough, enough. Enough, enough? <laughs> Come on, it's never enough, man. I like it. With this? Mm hmm. Oh, nice. A little spicy? A little spicy. 
Mm -hmm. It's just sweet, you know? Mm -hmm. That's a guava. Mm. For you, my friend. Thank you. That's for you. <laughs> well, and I'm done because I got so full. Thank we've had you. eggs, we've had splippies. <laughs> Chapati. Never ending Ugari. No. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, what's the name of your restaurant? I didn't see Kukuzun. the name. It's Kukuzun. It's called Kukuzun. Kukuzun. Uh, mm -hmm. Behind the Didobi Total. 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 The kindest people we've met so far on this trip. Mm -hmm. You guys are the best. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The green chili is amazing. <laughs> Not too spicy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who touched me? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the best. My friend, I see you tomorrow. No, no, no. Going, You're taking me? Okay, okay, no problem, problem. Let's go, let's go. Bye, bye. We're not done yet. Sun hasn't set yet. Let's go. Kind of like local snacks, you know? So people don't have time to go to the supermarket to buy the fucking biscuit. They just grab this and then they eat. <laughs> and they go. <laughs> so as you can see, this is raw sugarcane. And the way to do it is you just gotta break it up and chew it with your teeth. It's sweeter when it goes down, like in the last, the lower part of it. Now the game starts. You need to test your teeth. They have yes. to be strong enough. Oh. Both my boys here have strong teeth. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't think Tassel can either. That's how you break teeth. It's not about teeth only, it's also about the techniques, you know? Technique? Yeah, yeah. techniques. How do you bite? How do you you bite? can just bite. For the best for some, some fruits right now, okay? Fruits? We have some drizzles here, but everything is fine. So I can use my hood well now. Yeah. Let's hope for the best we have some fruits. Because it's raining, we all have hoodies. Yeah. Ready to go. Yeah. We're hoping for the best for Let, some fruits. Let's hope, let's hope. It's nice, look at this. It's drizzling, but... Hopefully you got some fruits, some juicy fruits. Hopefully. Here by the street, thank God uh, Obed gave me his hat from the safari because you know it's raining and I have nothing, no hoodie. So here we found this uh, sesame seed cookie, is it? It's like a cookie, yeah. So I've seen this like in Trinidad, like, they turn into a ball, but this is a cookie. Yeah? Yeah. I love some, man. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh. some honey, yeah? Oh, it makes some honey? Yeah, honey is the what, what keeps it together, the glue, right? Okay, so we're going to a, a watermelon vendor right there. Watermelon, right? It's nice, no? A little cold, rainy. This is like Miami without the, without the cold. I mean, we're about to get hit by cars. So this is amazing, by the way. This is invention right here. It's an umbrella for motorcycles. It's amazing. Oh, hello, Mambo. Wow, Kenya, huh? So let me ask you, this city, What's it known for? The lake, street food? The city is known from the lake called Lake Nakuru. It is one of the most famous national parks and the, where people come to watch the flamingos, you know? So it's very known in Kenya. Flamingo? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's yeah. a very nice place. Can we see it tomorrow? By the way, I'm going to try some of the sesame seeds because Tazara was so good and it only cost 10 shillings, so 10 cents, right? Nice, I'm going to have a little bit of this. Mmm. Same thing in Trinidad. This is a sesame cookie with some cashew, right? Groundnuts. Groundnuts. Yeah. You're funny, you're funny. <laughs> Between me and you, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, the one really is funny. I'm funny? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're very funny. You're, you're the best. Very, very. You made you're our day. Most, you're the most best one I've seen today. <laughs> thank you for making my day. No, thank you. Yeah, also, look, here, here we have fruits. What do we have? We have a type of uh, like a variety yeah, of variety. fruits. We, ha we have papaya, yeah, we have uh, mangoes, we have pineapples, we have yeah, 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 the, the melon. And so, what, papaya. Wh what are we having? Like, have every piece of it? Like, or. Uh, we have the indigenous uh, mangoes, those small ones, and we have these big ones that uh, are like, like the second. Uh, oh, he's Got it. Look at this. Yeah. Nice. We haven't had any mango on the street yet. This is going to be great. I'm from Miami. Mango is my life. You know it's the national fruit of India, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Mango. A billion mangoes. A trillion mangoes, actually. It's mangoes. Mango all day back. This is not like the ones in Latin America. It's different, this one. 
The sweet? Yeah, these small ones are indigenous. They are indigenous. In it's like big sweet one, sour. Yeah, the big ones are the one you see in the mass supermarket. Oh wow, this is good yeah. stuff. We gotta take for yeah. before we sleep tonight. We gotta get some to go. You know, <laughs> this is yeah, good stuff. If I'll have another. It's a little sticky, right? Oh yeah, it is different. It's like sweet and sour, like you said, right? Oh, mmm. This is the way I do it. Amazing. Good. Amazing. I can't wait to have mine too. Oh, it's so juicy. It like burst out when you bite into it. This is the most unique mango I've ever had. The flavor is so diverse. Not too big either. The ones that I have in Miami are like three times the size. They're huge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that papaya. I love papaya. So he's peeling it, cutting a nice layer. It's huge. Oh, he cut it in half? Oh, I love that. To help you for the digestion from mm -hmm. those meat or those dry meat from the goat, mm -hmm. the dry chapati, with this, you have no problem, no, no pains in the stomach. Yeah, it's health digestion, right? Mm -hmm. And it's so ripe. It's like the softest thing ever, right? Like when Very you put my teeth into it, like all this. Actually, it's like drinking it, yeah? <laughs> hey, we suck it. Yeah. It all goes down. Basically, like ice cream, yeah? Like oh, yeah, but way healthier, right? Yeah. I love all the fruits you have here mango, watermelon, banana. What else do we have? Papaya? And then this other one. Amazing fruit, a satisana. So good, so good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And that is our street food tour here in Nakuru. We had a blast. We had eggs, we had split peas, we had rooster, we had fruits, corn, sugarcane, spinach, cookies, everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. So that's, good. That's a good way to end our rough day on the road, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, man. Thank you. Obstacles are the way, right? Today I'm going to take you to have a traditional breakfast and then after this we're going to go explore the city and their famous lake. Sam! Good morning from Nakuru. Good morning. You? Very good, you? You're welcome. <laughs> wow, this looks interesting, right? Yeah, so this what do we have? we're having for breakfast. First of all, we have arrow roots. We will boil them and then we have a taste. That's so, so good. And also here we have sweet potatoes. Very, very sweet. That's what we call them. The sweet potatoes. Love and it. also, we have the indigenous egg. These are the indigenous eggs. Very small, They're right? Very small, but remember, very strong, and the yolk is yellow, like pure, pure yellow. So we're gonna see it and we have to test. So here, come with me. Perfect. Let's do it. So this is the restaurant we were at yesterday, and here we had rooster. Now we're gonna go into the kitchen and see how they make some breakfast. Thai kitchen. So we have our water here which is boiling. So what do we normally do? We just dip them into the water. There you go. So after that, we cover it. And we give it some time. So it should be like 30 to 45 minutes. It should be ready. So right now they're uh, peeling the sweet potato and yeah. they're cutting it in half. So it's already been boiled, right? <laughs> Woo! It is! Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm. Delicious sweet potato. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Not too much. Right. So good. I think maybe some salt. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she wants to feed me. Yes. <laughs> That's so nice. Mm -hmm. So we have the egg. And here we have. Hello, Ru. All right, guys, let's yeah. go eat to the dining room. Hello, hello, my friend, hello. Hope not sugary. All right, ready? Oh, cheers, bro, cheers. 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 It's another great day in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, for sure sugary, right? Yeah. It's good. This is day nine, and I'm ready to go. So just gonna grab one of these. You know what? There's your hands. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm. 
It's good, but I feel like this needs some spice, right? Fine, you can do with spice, you can do normally. I love it, my normal. Of course. Yeah. From spice to dairy, right? Mm. Mm hmm. Way better. Way better with this. All right, take your chai. Mm. Too hot. It goes really handy. Yeah, I know it's hot, but you can feel it. Mm -hmm. It really goes so well with chai. Cutting a little bit. And if you want, you can get some chili, like right on top. Yeah. For that. Hold it. This is what I'll do with the spoon, right? Sure. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice spice. Oh, my gosh. These are super, like, fluffy organic eggs, huh? Amazing. Oh, they're so good. So really good. Really good. You know, you can tell the difference. Like, you can really taste the difference, right? Exactly. When it's something from a supermarket or not. Indigenous eggs. Mm hmm. Your staff is too kind. Typically, this is our breakfast is like. So you have arrow roots, you have can have eggs, and then you can have the sweet potatoes together. Mm -hmm. So whole combined, some people even don't need lunch. No so I mean. every breakfast to go all the way to the evening. That's what you're noticing here in Kenya. Everything you eat is straight organic. From, from the farm. farm to table, yeah. every day. Wow, that was good with the spice. Love mm. the egg. Oh, it's good. Woke me up. And this guy's selling some stuff. I don't even know what this is. Look at this. I want to show this because it looks really amazing. What is it, like a paddle? Uh, what we use for making ugali. To make ugali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's amazing. Huh? And he has all these. These are nice. These are like little brooms? Yeah, uh, this uh, is more traditional to use to... They, they can just uh, wait, put in the water. Okay. Nice. They want to wait somewhere and then they clean. Oh, so it's a mop. Kind of. It's a mop. Kind of. Awesome. This is, this is cool. Yeah. yeah, this is really nice. How much for that one, actually? Yeah. How oh. much? 200. 200. So I'll take this one. I'll take one. Here we go. All right, guys, so I bought it for 200. I think it's a great gift. Let's go in the car. Let's continue. Let's go. Let's do the market. Great. It's going to be wild. I can't wait. No, on the way from Masai Mara down here, there was a bumpy ride. There was like a section for about half an hour. Where it was like, what the, you know what they called it in uh, South Africa? Yeah. African massage. Oh, you call it African massage? Yeah, we call it the African massage when the roads are bad. African massage. All right, let's go, let's go. Entering the market now. You can see people everywhere. Hello. Mozong, oh no. So what's the name of this market again? Akulima. Akulima It's for the farmers, just farmers. Farmers, awesome. Yeah, so what we see here is a mix of tiny shops, right? This shop of the shop of the shop. People selling cabbages, people selling skumawiki, people selling onions, people selling carrots, everything in 22 Everything. Everything. Wow. Even to the small, small fish. Even we small, fish. small fish. Here. Can we try some small fried yeah, fish? Yeah, I'll show you Fantastic. Yeah. So small shops everywhere, yeah, you got a mix, right? Yeah, and then we, we are going to enter into the big market. Now you will find a lot of people there who are selling different of things. Sure. Incredible. Wow. So here we have some vegetables. So we got onions, carrots, peppers, potatoes. Oh, mangoes and limes here too. How are you guys doing? You guys doing good? Again, lots of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Everything. They are kind of people. Crazy people. People who are selling everything. Yeah. I can smell the fish everywhere. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Have a, bite of it. a bite of it? I'll have some spice with it then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How does it taste? Dry and salty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I'm good. I'll try everything. Okay. Wow. People are walking like so many things. So they're bringing like tomatoes, potatoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Incredible. Yeah. It's getting intense, guys, as you see. Oh, look, right here we have sugar cane. Look at the sugar cane. Lots of sugar cane. But that's not sugar cane juice unless they have the extractor right there. They just break it with their teeth. One of my favorite street food snacks in Kenya. So just hard boiled egg, they cut it in half, they add some tomato, they add a little bit of chili. And for me, I'm gonna add some of my chili, right? Because I brought this today. Mm -hmm. Oh, way better with my sauce. Mm-hmm. Kachumbara. Go with tomatoes, onions. It's very kali Very good. Mm. How does it delicious. It's so delicious. I mean it's all about the eggs here, right? How much is it? It's 20 shillings. 
25 bucks. Really? Why don't you take another one? Oh, that no. That is enough. That is enough. That's enough. Yeah. Oh, that one was like super fresh. Mm -hmm. Wow, what an egg, huh? Uh -huh. All right, here we go, here we go. These are the women who are peeling peas. These are called peas in Kenya. Now we are. They are selling peas, like these ones. This one, they already peeled them. This one, you can eat it when it's raw. Amazing greens. Look at all these greens. What is it? It's called managu. Managu? Yeah. It's like spinach now. Different. Ah, it's bitter. Oh, can I try it like that, like raw? It's bitter. It's bitter. Nice greens though. This, you saute it, throw a little bit of like oil in it, it'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this little guy is the best. Yeah. Hey, Asante Sana. Let's keep going. It's like a rock, right? Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's, it's kind sort of, of a rock, rock but it has calcium to it. Many women take it when they're pregnant, even the doctor instructs that when you don't have calcium, you can take them. So it's, it's full of calcium. Yeah. Can I try a little, a little tiny one? I mean, it's a, it looks like a rock. It is a rock. Yeah. But what do you do? How do you do this? You just bite. It. bite it. How does this taste? It? Like a rock. <laughs> like dirt. I don't like it. You don't like it? Not my thing. <laughs> I need sugar cane juice to flush this out. <laughs> right away. It is calcium. You need calcium as well. I need yeah. calcium? Yeah. This is raw calcium. Not great, not great. <laughs> Come on, me. Asante. Asante, 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 Asante. That sucks the seeds. Mmm. No, but it's not as tasty as passion fruit. Yeah, this is okay. It's really good. It's a little, a little sour. It's sour and it's strong, huh? Corn melon. So you just gotta squeeze. You see how all the seeds come out? Oh, so they're popping. They're popping. And that's straight to the mouth, right? Mmm. All other fruits here in Kenya. They're so good. Woo! Fantastic. Oh my god, I'm about to get hit. Every second somebody's passing by with vegetables, man. Let's get out of the main road. Let's continue. We're on a highway, yeah? We're on a highway. We're on a highway. Sana, sana, Oh wow, and here she has spices. This is pure sugar. Pure sugar, brown this is sugar. Sugar. Mmm. Good? Too sweet. I'll try one, a little bite. Whoa. Wow. No more for me. Yeah? Why? I mean I mean it's for chai basically, right? Yeah, I guess. So I just quickly press hard. Yes. It cracks open, get that crack. Yes. Oh, this one's tough. Look at that. Fantastic. And then you go in and you slurp it, right? Yeah. Bajo is the best. Oh, the <laughs> it's way better than the other one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got to pull it all out. Mmm, it's sweet this one. Extremely sweet. I love eating in the seeds, right? Done. I've never had this one. Mm -hmm. Not this one. It's like a smaller, compact one. It's super, super sweet. Yeah, that one was super sour. These are French beans. Oh, so they're super, super thin. Oh, you got coconut? Yeah, coconut. But it has everything. Oh, wow. this will lift you up, guys. I love it. Coconut every day. Yeah, this one, not, not good jelly, not, not the best jelly. So the way it works is you get a watermelon, then he slices it for you, and then he wraps it very easy. Can I slice? I want you to test it. Wow, what a piece. And here we go, watermelon. Oh yeah. Oh, so tasty. Twenty cents, twenty shillings. Mm hmm. Look at that. Let's get rid of the seeds. Let's go in. Oh, fantastic. Mm hmm. This is the best thing ever. Come to the market, try their food. Mm, support them. Oh my gosh, dude. This is the sweetest one I had. Mmm. Everything in a cool is super sweet. No, no, no. My favorite is mango, then watermelon. You know, the thing about these fruits and vegetables is that they're so fresh from the area. So sweet. Akuna wasi wasi. 
So again, Akuna Matata means no problems. But like the new, the new version of Akuna Matata is Akuna Wasi Wasi. Akuna Wasi Wasi. Akuna Wasi Wasi. No, it's not good for the song though. You know, in Africa, they had like the preachers in the middle of the street, the market. So we just heard one and I want to get blessed. Let's see if we're going to make it. Yeah, the same thing in Ghana. Everywhere I drove in Ghana, you have a preacher. Oh, there he is. Yeah, preacher is cool. Yeah, preacher is here. It's pretty amazing that he's here preaching the word of God. Uh, so he's not going to do blessings in the market because he usually does that in a church. So we're going to keep going and see what else we see now. And uh, what is that? It's a tree tomato. Tree tomato. Yeah. It's a fruit. Squeeze it and then you suck. Yeah. Pineapple vendor and it's 60 shillings, 60 cents for a pineapple. He's going to chop it for us right now. So we bought one and because we're not eating the whole thing, we're passing it out, right? The ultra sweet man. Mm -hmm. I love the texture. I love pineapple. Mm. Trinidad, Guyana, right here in Kenya having delicious pineapple. Wow. Ultra. Ultra sweet. This one, this, this is an M-Pesa. The one we were told about, we are telling you about it. It's a M-Pesa banking, it's a mobile banking thing. She's my sister and she's my mom. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, yes. Mambo. Welcome to Kenya. These women are so kind, so nice. She made our trip here. She made our trip. You're the best. You made our trip so awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, your family's great. <laughs> Amazing. All right, guys, we're done with the market. We're going to get in the car and we're driving to the lake. But before we go to the lake, we're going to stop for a surprise. Fermented milk. Let's go. So good today, right? All right, all right. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, you? Yeah, are you good? I'm perfect, I'm perfect. Ready to go. It was this way, right? Hygienic butchery. Here we have fermented milk. Morsik. Morsik. Yeah, I mean, it is thick. It's like... It's sour. Mm. It's almost like yogurt. It's a little smoky, too. It's like smoky. But he has a, he, he put herbs, kind of charcoal in, I don't know if you can see charcoal. Charcoal, so yeah. that's charcoal why it's smoky. Exactly. Yeah. That's why it's smoky. Charcoal in it and then they mix it with, with no How milk. They make mm -hmm. it? Yeah, so right here we have like particles of charcoal throughout the whole thing, that's why it's smoky. Like thicker milks I've ever had in my life. All right, I think I also need to try it. Cheers, man. Cheers, it's good. I think we get a glass Whoa. It should be like this. I know, right? Like, yeah. Do you have any like mine? Got milk. Do you see milk? <laughs> no, no, it's not sweet. It's bitter, bro. It's good, but it's, it's good. bitter. Yeah, yeah. You feel it going all the way to your stomach, getting into your vein. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. I mean, this will fill you up, right? Yeah. Wow. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Nakuro, what a surprise. Pretty amazing about this restaurant is that right next to my table, we have the butcher, and they have the massive huge beefers like dinosaur ribs just gigantic and then right now he's just chopping up with the saw right there with the electric saw chopping up just like small pieces of i think lamb you also have beef he has chicken he has organs and we're gonna finish this and my friends you good you good <laughs> it's like a surprise to have me here right <laughs> this restaurant is awesome so they don't just have the ugali and the fermented uh, milk they also have uh, chapati they have over here mandazis is dough with sugar, right? Nice and sweet. Kebab, sauces, brown yeah. chapati. White chapati. White chapati, perfect. Yeah. Hey, asante sana. Asante sana. Thanks so much, my man, my man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that's it for hygienic restaurant and butchery. Let's get in the car and let's get a viewpoint of the lake. Yeah. Woo! Is it a national park or what? Inside the national park. So After about a 15 minute drive, we were looking for the spot, but you know, this is a national park. This is the Kuru National Park. The lake is inside it, and in there, they have lots of animals, including the big four, not the big five, I think they're missing elephants, correct? Yes, we're missing the elephants. Wow, so that's it. And that was our incredible morning here in Nakuru. We started off with the traditional breakfast, then went to the market, then we tried some fermented milk, and then finally we ended up 
right here in the Kuru Lake National Park. And this area is called Banda. And here at Banda, lots of different vendors selling tilapia, frying tilapia for us. Tilapia mm -hmm. from the Kaivasha. This is the comp. You start scratching that it's like this way. Now for starting to move the scales, you go in this way. You go this way. After that way, from the head, you move the skill from the head, all the size. After that one, you put it that way. From there, you move like that way. From that way, this one, you see this one, this one is a man. So he's taking off all the scales. As you can see, it pops. So I personally don't love tilapia in America because they're all farmed. Here it's directly from the lake, so it's going to be very fresh, right? A little different. You, you make it this way, another, another size. So just make small incisions, four incisions, and that way the salt can go into the meat of the fish. Oh, the meat of the fish. After that one, you come in and this one is another one. Mm -hmm. you, you, you choose two, you can use this, the knife, to make sure no scales remaining. Yes, yeah, so we gotta remove all scales that all can't go in. No remaining. After that way, you make it that way, that way, that way. Okay, so first he's gonna put salt, yeah, then he's gonna put it into the. Now this one, now this one is a kitchen. You have, you wash this all of the gills. You move all the part of the blood of the scales for the scales for the gill. That way, and that way. Now your fish is complete. You go to the salt. Put the salt. You put it this way, you take the salt. Why us do this one? When to put it to the to the fire, salt go in. After that way, you make it here. You hang it here. Oh you hang it. You hang it here, that way, for a few minutes. After that way you make the fire. You do this way, you are the sound. If you are the sound, you get is okay. You put it. To direct of it, like this, it's separate. Not to go together, like that way. So, the tilapia takes five minutes to fry, and we're gonna pair that with, of course, ugali, maize flour. Just grab some of that, just like that. Mmm, that one's super crumbly. Mmm. You did it and take that way. Flip it. Flip it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Woo! I know, but the smoke. The smoke's intense. My eyes are like drippy. Oh, it's gonna be good fish, huh? Nice, nice. Super boiling oil. It's like I feel it. As you do this way, before you move the fish, mm. you, you use this wire. The oil. That way you put it here. The tilapia, he's gonna let it drain for a little while. At the same time, she's cutting up some onions, some tomatoes to make kachumbari, which is their, their salad, right? We, we eat it every day. Every day, but it's good, no? No, it's great, it's great, it's delicious. It goes well with everything. Super fresh, add some chilies if you want. To make the kachumbari, you make in small particles. You try to make it bitter, small, small particles. After that way, you go to call it dania. You take the dania, you put it to wash it in the water. A cilantro, no? To the claw, yes. After that way, you move the water a bit small. You scratch it in. That way. After that way, you started to make it bitter, small, small, because it was kachumbari. You try to make it small, 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 in particles, small, smalls. Kelapilo. Kelapilo? Yes. <laughs> Kelapilo is a Luo language. Because I'm a Luo, that was called apilo in English, yes. What I love about this though, I can smell it, right? It's this fragrance? Yeah. You wash it to tomatoes. You move this end of the tomato because this one, Zol Kali, they all after the time of harvesting. Now, first of all, you slice it like, like that way, you remove it. Now, after that way, you make the, these tomatoes to be according to the small pieces and small 
kind of the pieces. You just have to slashing slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly, slowly by slowly. Hot water. You make the hot water because to make to keep the jams. Because this one is a kachumbari. In the particles, small by small. On kachumbari, that one is complete. If you want to mix it, you're mixing it in a big plate to give him a color. Sorry, sorry. Nice. I think it's looking so nice. How about that one? You so make the salt. Salt? You continue to miss it. The only thing missing here is Greek olive oil from Kalamata. Okay. okay. The best olive oil on earth. I know that. Now you go to the kitchen to make the serving. You take one by one, you put this way, you put it this way. After that way, you come in to the table. You put this kachubari on, on the milk room. Now this serving is complete. Now it's to, 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 to go serving to Ugali. Now you slice it like, like, like this way. Now if you see, you can see there is complete in the same size. We're having fish, we're having tilapia, right, kachumbari. what I got for you. Oh, yes. I got your favorite beer, Guinness for an extra man. Guys, this is the best Guinness. Wow. Well, outside of Ireland, this is the Guinness you should drink. <laughs> my Irish, to all my Irish. You guys know I'm 4% Irish. All right, let's drink it. Oh yeah, nice and chilled. Mm, four and extra. Yeah, so they usually do this, right? So Guinness has bottling throughout the Caribbean, Africa, I'm sure in Asia as well, right? So first off, we start with Ugali. Yes. Nice ball in the hand. Squeeze it. Mm -hmm. of course. Sam is a left-handed, so he has to use the left hand. All right, the next we just break up some of this. Oh wow, so it's a lot of bones, a huh? A lot of it, yeah, yeah. So you gotta be really careful when you break it up. Yeah. And you start mixing it in. I, guess, I, I hope I'm fine here. Yeah. And then got some on top. Sure. With that. Just like this. And just squeeze it all together. Yeah, there's a little bit of bones, but. Thank you. All right. We're good to go. Good to go? Yeah. How is it? Mm -hmm. It's a good fish. Mm. It's got to break through, right? Yeah, it just finds our way out. Just try to take off the meat. Wow. So, same thing, right? So, always go in, get some ugali, mix it in. Sorry about that, bro. I was trying to get in there. I actually love this kachumbari because he added uh, cilantro. Tastes good. And this is like literally how you do it. Let's go. Yes. Mm. Mm. Super fresh, right? You got it today? So on this one. But we also have the other side, right? I, mean, I love just pulling it like that. Look at that. Look at all those bones. Too many bones. So at this point, I'm going to flip it over, right? Those are really good. Oh, but there's more here. A little bit here. So it drops a lot of salt. That's good that we have two different sides. Lots of meat. Yeah. Gotta be careful again. There are Those bones are in here. Meat. The only thing is you gotta be careful with ugali. Yeah. Too much ugali. You're gaining that weight, baby. <laughs> Seriously you make, though. You make a big food, baby. It's like on this trip, if I cut the ugali, I'd stay the same weight, but because I didn't, <laughs> five kilo extra. Five kilos extra. Put it like that, right? It's good stuff. No, take the pump. The yeah. Then you squeeze it, you create a And you make a little hole. Yeah. If you put the hole, you make a tumbar in of, of the hole. Like this way. Wow. It's amazing. Raining outside, a little chilly in here. Yeah, so what a good way to... Fried fish with some Guinness. Some Guinness. It's good. It's good. It's like when you order Ghana, it's fufu every day. Fufu. When you're in Kenya, ugali. Ugali. Ugali, ugali. So I'm going to make a little tiny hole, right? Tiny hole, I try. Yeah. And then I go up here and I scoop, right? My best, man. It's my best. I can do it. Good. Super healthy, fresh. And I guess at the end, what we do is we look around for the meat. That. Bon appetit. Oh, man. We're done? Exactly. That was a quick lunch. Mm. I also need to eat some. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. I love. Bro, wrong hand, right? Look at that. Clean my hands. So the kuna wasi wasi. Amazing. So we had three tilapia, we had ugali, kachumbari, we had uh, this one, I forget the name of it all the time, maguza. Okay. What's this one called? Managu, managu. And now we're gonna go probably fish market, see the lake, corner market, and explore. Let's go to the fish market. Okay. So he's gonna guide us over there. Let's go, let's go. Oh man, it was raining, now it's a beautiful day, huh? It's crazy. We're going to the fish market. To fish market. Is there anything left? So the catfish, obviously the whiskers, right? Massive fish. 
Like every fish market, this is a little gory, right? So they're, what they're doing now is she's like scaling, taking off the scales, right? Taking everything off. And then she'll probably clean everything, all the intestines, the guts, and then throw in the bucket. Same thing over here, right? It's funny because in America they eat fish and they don't see that this part of it, you know? I mean, this is reality, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, yeah. That's why I'm already used to it. It's like I'm numb. <laughs> Straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, it's like, you know, I need some time to, you <laughs> to, know, just. to, to get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So Banda is a mix of like a small little kiosk or little vendors, right? And they're selling fish to cook it for you in the back just like he did. And that's what you do here. So I don't know what else we're going to do. Let's get in the car and let's go. It's smart fish. I don't know. In Miami, we call them the dummy. It's the easy one to catch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, they're not something. No something. <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay. I think we're good with the catfish. Sanisana, Sanisana. All right, let's go. So now we're on the highway headed back to Nairobi. We have a two hour drive plus traffic, so roughly it'll be three hours. It is, what, 4 p.m. right now? Like, yeah, like 4 p.m. So we'll be around 7. I mean, we'll see what we see on the way, right? Depends. Uh, hopefully, it's something interesting. You know, these highways aren't like pure highway. Things are happening all on the way. Lots of little villages, people selling things. So hopefully we see something interesting, right? Yeah, sure. We will see some interesting things. We have the viewpoint. We have people selling uh, vegetables on the way, fruits, all those things. So we're going to pop into one of the places and see what exactly they're selling. And we're good to go to Nairobi. It's going to be like the same thing like on the way to Masai Mara. 40 bucks for a hat, like Muzungu price. No, but so there's like a billion vendors here on this highway. Uh, they're selling a lot of like hats, clothing. Of course, the, the Masai, what do you call it? The, what you put on? You know, to, to cover the up from the cold? Fabrics. The fabrics. The Masai Shuka. Masai Shuka. Yes. Look at this, I'm running at a viewpoint, right? It's a lot of traffic here, and we are getting closer. We're about one hour from Nairobi. All right, my friend, we're doing it. Yes. What do we have here? What a view. Beautiful. What a view, dude. Yo, Tass, look at this view. And I go. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> You're amazing. She's so nice. Yeah. This is your shop? My shop is Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya. Yeah. Let's see it, let's see it. Let's see your shop. So this is her shop, Mount Kenya. So there's many shops here. There's four shops. Yeah, four shops. This is Mount Kenya here. So people know where to go. Wow. In Kenya, we see no matata. It's no matata in Kenya. Ah, no matata. Hakuna wasi wasi. So Hakuna wasi wasi. Cool stuff. So she has a lot of things here. She has like, you know, these are awesome. Coaster? The coasters are awesome. Yeah. Coasters are cool, beautiful yeah. little um, purses here. Look like at the mask here, incredible. Oh, this this is awesome. The elephant, the bridge of elephants. Let's do this one. So you start high, I have to start low, you know? It has to be like- You uh, with Bagin, yeah? Of course, of course. Yeah, you are a business <laughs> Of course, I'm, I'm business. Look at me here, look at me. Uh, I look wild, I look wild. Yeah. So how much for it? Final price? One? One thousand? One thousand. One hundred. One thousand one hundred? Yeah. And it's a deal, my friend. I take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're, you're too kind, you're too kind. And uh, I guess I guess this is the gift from her. <laughs> but this is a thousand five hundred, so it's fifteen hundred for this hat. I mean, I would never wear it. That's why I'm not getting it. I'm taking that from my ex-wife. She deserves this. She deserves everything, yeah, of course. She, no, my ex-wife, ex-wife. No, not my next wife. My next wife already has too much money. I already know who she is. I'm messing with you guys. These are beautiful. Look at this, though. Look at this. That's a jewelry box. Look at this. Guys, look at this. This is a jewelry box. The key is this. What? Made from stone, huh? How much for this one? 1,800. It's amazing. These are jewelry boxes. I think my daughters would love this. Like really love it because it's made from stone, two hearts. This is a gift, right? That's already bought. <laughs> She's like, you can't negotiate anymore on that. How much? How much? Throw this in here for 4,000. Let's throw it in. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> it's a deal. <laughs> I love this lady. <laughs> this is true Kenyans. They're so kind. It's so nice. This is amazing. What craftsmanship, huh? Stone. Stone, dude. I've never seen this in my life. You know this in America? Yeah, you don't have to. No, no, impossible. There's no machine. This is like by hand, dude. She's given me a gift. I bought a lot of pieces from her. 
Are you sure? Yes. Wow, so this is the Great Rift Valley? Yeah. The this is why I buy gifts on my travels. They're like this, right? Stone, craftsmanship, you support them, but also you're going to have this memory forever in my house. When I'm 85 years old, when I have two great grandchildren, yeah. I'm going to say, when I was in the Great Rift Valley, oh, let's watch the video. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Asante Sana. Asante Sana, you're Karibu. too kind. Guys, come to her shop. What's the name of your shop again? Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya. Yeah. Wow, at the viewpoint. Yeah. So the highway coming from Nakuru down to Nairobi, it's only like one hour outside Nairobi, but here we have the viewpoint. You know, that was an incredible experience at that lake, Naivasha. Yeah. Sorry, we've been to a few lakes on this trip, so Lake Naivasha, we had, you know, fish, tilapia, we saw the whole process, so them frying it, had delicious greens, ugali, ugali. Guinness extra stout, then we saw a little bit of that fish market, you know, cool experience, yeah. very local, no other foreigners there, that's what I love about it. And then we came from there down here and I'm freezing right now, but look at this view. Looking over the Great Rift Valley. Look at it. The active, oh no, the Doman Mount Longonot. So that mountain right over there. all the way there used to be an active volcano. That one right there. Yes, right there. Wow, incredible. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up and let me know. Are you going to come out here? You have to. Kenya. Karibu Kenya. Karibu Kenya. Welcome As to Kenya. Santana.